Put the SIM card in my phone, it reset my phone, and I'm still on the Wi-Fi to my, my Wi-Fi box. Because she said the SIM card's not going to work for 30 minutes. Or it's not going to work until I get a text message. So, you know, whatever, when I get a text message, if it starts lagging on my box, when I get a text message, I'll switch over to the SIM card and, you know, go from there. So, that's fine. But, alright, we got to find a taxi, bro. I got it. I gotta get back to the Coliseum. I don't know where the fuck I am. This shit looks hood as fuck. I mean, everything in Italy looks hood as fuck. It's not, it's not hood as fuck. It's not hood, but it's, it just looks like, a, like, I don't know. Where the fuck am I? I'm in some neighborhood. I'm in some, like, how you doing, sir? I'm in some, like, fucking, yeah, some back-end Roman neighborhood to get fucking SIM cards, dude. There's graffiti everywhere. All right. Don't go to Rome during the summer. What do you mean, dude? What? I mean, it's not the summer. It's September, dude. Alrighty, how do I get a taxi around this motherfucker, dude? I know people say that, like, I know they say there's, like, you call, you can call for taxis, but I tried calling a taxi earlier, and it, it didn't work, like, they didn't come, so, and, like, they didn't understand what I was saying, and it was weird, and I don't have Uber, so I can't call an Uber, because, uh, I, mean, I just don't have motherfucking ass Uber, dude, it's just, <laughs> motherfucking, uh, it, for some reason, my Uber account's glitched, and it won't let me switch my debit card, so... And I don't have a debit card right now anyways, so I can't switch it. Usually they have taxi lines everywhere, but I have... I do not see any taxi lines around here. I just try to flag one down if I see it, but I do not see it. I just wish everything was more, like, closed together. Like, in Amsterdam, everything's, like, close together. And then in Rome, it's all spread out, so you have to take cabs. Or walk fucking 45 minutes all over the place. There's a Coliseum from here, it's 45 minutes by walking, and I ain't walking that, bro. Fuck, you got me, you got me so fucked that you think I'm walking that, so. Alright. Let's see if this works. Alright, I don't know. I don't know why my motherfucking alerts aren't working, so if you donate, don't, you're gonna get scammed, so just don't donate. And so I figure it out. Walk? You want me to walk 45 minutes? What you mean, bro? I mean, listen, dog. There's, we're not going to make it to everything in time if we... Bro, look at this car. We're not going to make it everything in time if we uh, walk everywhere. Why is their quality shitty? I don't know. I'm using the shitty Wi-Fi box at a shitty quality. Yeah, hopefully when the SIM card starts working, I can switch to that. And it'll be better quality and my donations will work. Because nothing's working right now. Alright. <laughs> so don't donate until I figure it out. Or you're going to get scammed. Alrighty. Fucking... I don't even know where to go. Because so, the only phone I have is the one I'm using to stream. So I don't have a map. Or anything, so... I mean, I can pull up the map on the phone, but it's kind of like really hard to read. And I'm going to make some mistakes. Let me ask this guy for where taxis are at. Excuse me. Where are the taxis? Taxi. 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 Dude, where the fuck am I? Jesus. Excuse me. Hello. How are you? Hello. 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 How you doing? All right. Taxis? Taxi? Taxi. No taxi? Taxi. Alright. Alrighty, thank you anyways. Fuck. All of Rome and you're on the shitty street, dude. I I just had to go get a SIM card real quick, homie. You think I want to be on this street? Get me the heck off the street, dude. Oh, what they got here? Oh, they got hello shit right now. Well, they got watches and shit now. All right, my fucking bootleg. All right, come on. I sell the shit on the street. It's bootleg. India town, bro. I don't even. I don't know where. Maybe it is India town. I don't know where I am. Hello. Where, hello. Where y'all running to? What's going on? All right. Bye. See you later, kids. This bootleg town is what it is, brother. What, what the fuck is this? The scammers, really? All right, hold on. Hello. Do you work here? Do you work here? Do you know where the taxi is? 
All right, thank you. I have no idea what he said. I have no fucking idea. Everyone hates me. I hate everyone <laughs> around this area. Get me the fuck out of here. He's Indian, ask an Italian. What you mean, dude? If he's Indian, how am I gonna ask an Italian? I don't even know how to say the shit in Italian. How do you say, where is the taxi? What are these guys? Hello. Hello, how are you? Ciao. Hi, fine. What are you doing? I, what are you doing? <laughs> That's what I want to ask. We are working for Amnesty International. Do you know? What is that? It's a non-profit organization uh, that want to receive, uh, I don't know how to say in English. I, I have to speak in English? Yes. <laughs> no. Parli anche italiano? Poquito. Un poquito. Where are you from? America. America, okay. Was that not obvious already? No, I must speak With my English. nice American masculinity. <laughs> Uh, so we are doing, you, you don't know Amnesty International? No. It's an organization that want to uh, save human rights. Oh, human okay. rights, okay. Human rights. Understood. In all the world, in Italy, but in other countries also. Does uh, Italy have human rights problems? Yes. What is we the have issue? We a problem with the police. In this moment we are doing a campaign for uh, to take the uh, identificative code on the head of the police, you know? What? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know how... The police say. have codes in their head? Normally, the police must have the code yeah. in the head. In the, what in do the, you mean, in, dude? I don't know how They, put, they put the code in the head? They put like a... I don't know Like a barcode? Yes. No. Bar code. And then, so you want to stop that? No. You don't want to stop we that? We want to put the code because usually police can kill people, but people oh. never will know. You want to put the code in their head? Yes. And then you can scan their head? Like okay. like scan, like uh, like Walmart, like beep, uh, beep. No, 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 La no, like the scan, like a number. You have a number? Yeah, but so you can identify. I, I can recognize you, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a mask, I can recognize you. Do the police have masks? Only if you have a code, no? I agree. I think police. I'll sign this. I think police should have codes in their head. In America, police has the, the code. No. Okay. No, in America, police have big guns. Big guns. Big guns. Okay, but in Italy, armed, it's, there are are not legal. In America, you yes. will be okay if you are a, a certain kind of person. Okay, but a apparently, you have arms. There's uh, a lot. There's a lot of racial profiling in America. Racial profiling. Yes. Okay. And uh, why you are here, you Um, no reason at all. I'm just traveling, getting away from America. Okay. Going to see the Coliseum. Are you traveling all alone? No. No. I'm traveling with my friends, but they're not here with me right now. Okay. We have an RV. We traveled across Europe in an RV from Amsterdam, and now we're in Rome. So you went in Amsterdam. Yeah, and we drove the RV, the car, all the way down here. And I now we're here. Four times in Amsterdam. Oh, it's nice. So boring. What you mean? Boring? How so? Yes. How's that boring? I think it's a commercial point, Amsterdam. Nah, you go there and you it's get. On my street. You get fucked up on drugs. It's only for drugs. You like drugs? A, not so much. No. A little bit. Not so much. Marijuana. It's not. I think that if you drug yourself every day, every hour, all your life. Then it's not yet um, funny, you know? But it's only marijuana, weed. You know, it's okay, a little bit of smoke the ganja, yes, you know? Yes, but you, you don't enjoy really the place if you are always uh, free. <laughs> no, you enjoy it more, more so. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Do you want to see yes. our campaign? Yeah, let me sign, you said a thing, you sign or you want money? I give you... I give you our passport of human rights. There is the Declaration of Human Rights of the 1948, the, the ONU Declaration. Uh huh. And now we need we need money to, to do research to to send our searcher. How much money do you need? I'm willing to give as much money as you need uh, to save 
the humans. We, we don't need a, um, exactly budget. You, you can give us all you, all, uh, you can you can want. We, we don't receive money, cash. We need um, a donation. We need your... Um, Who you are. We can't. What? We can't. What? We don't accept money like this. We, we need... We need... Uh, what do you mean? You asked for money? You want some money? What's up? You, we uh, need... It's for, it's for charity. I show you. We, we don't do charity. We need money. Oh, you want pay my... Our, um, our church... Um, I don't know how to say in English. People? Oh, you're... Okay, yeah, yeah. Do you want credit, my credit card? Yes. <laughs> My credit card? You want to write down your my... Your or your credit card? <laughs> what do you mean? Come on. I'm going to give you my credit card. We're on the side of the road in the ghetto. What are you talking about? There's a you KFC pay, right there. You pay all your life with credit cards. Yes. How many things you pay with your credit cards? Everything. Okay. So when we, when you give us your IBAN, the IBAN, it's not... It's sure. It's, it's not uh, touchable. Oh, it's not a, not a scam. Mean, no scam. No scam. You're not going to take all my money out of my bank. No, it's not scam. What if it's like, all right, we need another, we need like a thousand dollars and we save the world. You going to take that from my bank? We need you. We don't need uh, exactly money, you know? Okay. If you, if you want to, to give not my to Amnesty International. Uh, Amnesty, money. what is this? Is this like a wire thing, like a Western Union? This is for your name, your name, uh, and then we need your uh, the number of the credit card. Then you can choose if you want to give 60. But how do I know you're not going to take out more? I mean, you're only asking for one euro. How do I know you're not going to take out like 100 euros? Because if, you, if we ask to people to give us too much money, after one one month two months three months people have no money you know in italy no but people, then you italy is uh, but then you have more money than america but then you have more money i have not so much money i'm a student or the company has more money you the know company, but, but if the company they take all the money money not from the government not from the multinational the company receive money from people like us so we, we can't ask people to give us so much money. How much money have you donated? I can put 20 euros for month because the donation is continuously. We need people that sustain us. Oh, yes. For all that. Of course. People. People. Okay. Well, I actually don't have a debit card. I only have cash because somebody stole my wallet. A thief in Paris. In he's, Paris? He stole my... I lived in Paris. Yeah, he, st my, he stole my wallet. He stole my shit. I woke up in the RV. My friend Gary, there was a fucking dude inside of it. We beat him. Okay. I don't have a credit card. Okay. I'm very Thank sorry. Thank you for, for the... Me. <laughs> Bye. Hello, y'all also doing this? Do you guys also donate? Where are you guys students at? Are you also students yeah, yeah. at college? No, I, oh, very nice. I like this. This is you, good cause. Good cause indeed. I hope you guys succeed in whatever you guys want to accomplish. Thank you. Very nice. Very good. You guys from Italy, all of you? Yeah. Rome? I'm from Bari. Oh, very nice. Yes, yes. I'm all. What do I look like? Where do I look like ethni ethnicity wise? What? what do I look like ethnicity? I don't do I look no. do, do I look Italian? No. What you mean, dog? What do I look like? A Spanish? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, Greek. Greek. Maybe Italy, no? Sicily. Sicily. What you mean? Okay, listen. Yeah. What do, would you believe if I said? So you speak the, Italian? No. No, poquito. 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 I don't know, that's Spanish. Do I look like I am from the Middle East? You? Yes. No. Okay, some people say that sometimes. So it's really good, good, I'm glad. 
Yeah. All right. Some people say I look Jewish. I don't. Know. My big nose, yeah. No, but this is a stereotype. It is. You, so. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. How you doing, though? My friend tracksuit is single. All right. See you later, guys. Thank you. Bye. All right. All right, yo, I'm Italian as fuck. They don't know what they're talking about. I'm talking about Spanish and or Greek. I mean, Spanish and Greek and, and Italians are all, you know, they're all the same. They're all similar. They all look the same, so it doesn't matter. Like, they literally all look the same, so it's fine. All right, bro, how do I get the fuck? Where's, let me see if they sent over this motherfucker sim or this motherfucker text. God, dude, this noise. Alright, turn the SIM card on, so let me up the quality a little bit, one second. Let's see if the SIM card could do a uh, higher quality than what the fuck I'm on right now. Alright, there you go. Seems to be working a, lo a lot better, just all of a sudden. There we go. Alright, hopefully it stays consistent. And we'll be a Gucci good. Alright, let's see. Do these work as well? There you hey go. Ice, come over to Australia, Vienna. I'm waiting for you with some weed and an untouched right, bitch. Love ya. Right. Should look a little better. My fucking alerts work. Fantastic. The Wi-Fi box, dog shit. Alright, hopefully my pockets aren't robbed, but they're not. Okay. We still gotta find a taxi though. Know? Cause like, I'm trying to get to the Coliseum for that motherfucker closes, like Vatican City and stuff, so I'll, I don't know, like, <laughs> bro, I have to walk literally down this road. I literally have to walk down this road for 45 minutes if I can't find a taxi, which is awful. I mean, I guess I, and I'm just going to get distracted on the way. We're never going to get to the Coliseum. Dude, we're literally never going to get there. Yo, how's the phone sound? Like, how's the audio sound? Is it, uh, good? Why are you saying F for? There's no way this shit just F. It says I have 2500 bit rate. How the fuck is it F right now? Unless you guys are trolling me. Yo, let me know if we're even live right now. Press 1 if we're live. Because y'all are not syncing with what I'm saying here. I'm live. What the fuck? Did it? I don't know. It, it should be good now, though. Okay. It should be good. So. All right, yo. The major fucking street. No taxis. Alrighty. Oh, what's this? We got sunflowers. I could buy that, Kimberly. But I don't want to carry them around all day, so I'll do that later. Yeah, I was scammed from the from that SIM card place because it's obviously expensive as fuck, but it's fine. Why are you, why are you guys saying F? Are you guys fucking trolling me? I can't even tell. Because my bit rate is 2,500. My bit rate is literally fine. So I, let me just, I don't know what's going on. Surely you're trolling, right? I'm pretty sure it's a troll, dude. Y'all should refresh the page if you have an F because it's not F. Yeah, okay. We're good. Yeah, I'm gonna. If I find a barber shop or something on the way, I'm gonna get a bar. I'm gonna get a haircut real quick. Cause I look like a fucking maniac. I look fucking bad. I look disgusting. I can't walk around looking homeless. It makes people not want to talk to me. I'm wearing a fucking clothes from yesterday. Not good. All right. What do we got here over here on the street? Your hair looks great, homie. What you mean, bro? No, my hair looks bad, dude. It's like dyed wrong and shit. It's like my hair's like got like bright, like highlights and dye, and it's like fucking loose ends and scuffness. I look absolutely homeless. Kimberly told me to get a haircut as well, so I'm gonna get it. She's like, you gotta cut your damn hair. Excuse me. Me excuse you. Me excuse you. Alrighty. What do we got here? Go to center, this is F ghetto. I don't know, this is ghetto shit. Motherfucker, tell me about it. 
Alrighty. What do we got here? That's the most scuffed looking pizzeria I've ever seen. I'm in the hood, yeah. I mean, it looks like it, so I'm crossing the bridge, hopefully into better parts of society now, or Rome or whatever. Yo, know, what's up, Adam Jones? How you doing? All right, where's the taxis? What time's the Coliseum shut? I don't know, probably like eight or something. It's only like three right now, 3.45, so we got time. We gotta get there, dude. I don't want to wait in line for like a long ass time, so we gotta get there quick. Before lines start to get, you know, busy if they're not already. Call a taxi? I can't. I can't. I'm streaming on my phone. And also, I tried calling one earlier and it didn't work. So I, it doesn't, like, I can't. I don't know how people get around in this motherfucking place without a car. It makes it so hard. Excuse me. Do you know how I can get a taxi? Do you speak English? More or less. A little bit. Are you from Roma? Yes. Are you born here? Uh, no. Okay, because I'm trying to figure out how do I get back to the Colosseum? Um, metro. Um, you no metro. I have a, a fear of trains. I am scared of trains. Ah, uh, so I don't know. I know the metro. You don't know how to walk there? Do you have a car? Uh, Did you have a car? No. Uh, with metro. <laughs> um, a piedi per il Colosseo. Yeah. Dritto di qua. Qui. Su questa strada. Yeah. Basilica di San Giovanni. Yeah. Sinistra. Uh, uh -huh. Left. Dritto. Yeah. Colosseo. Amazing. Perfect. Completely understood <laughs> everything you said. Um, do I, first of all, real question. Do I look Italian? Hmm? Do I look Italian? Ah. Do I look at Italian? Italia? Tu? Tu? I look ah. Italian. Italian. Yes? Very, very nice. Thank you. That's all I need to know, thank you. Alright, I don't know what the fuck she said, dog. It's just something about go straight, take a left. Something like that, so I'm gonna go straight, take a left. Fuck, dude. Where the fucking taxis at? Imagine a city that doesn't have taxis everywhere. New York City does it right, they have taxis fucking everywhere, dude. In the city, like, because they only have Uber Black here. So it's like the Uber, like it's expensive as fuck. You go like a mile, it's like $20 a mile to go on Uber. We played $30. We literally paid $30 fucking dollars to go a mile. The RV to the Coliseum is a mile, or maybe two miles. We paid $30. So imagine like, like hell no. Like dude, nobody's gonna fucking drive Uber around this motherfucker, dude. It's expensive as shit. Oh, I know how to say thank you. Yes, grazie. Grazie. Indeed. Already, I need some coffee, dude. Or like a Red Bull or something too, some caffeine. I'm a fucking ass, dude. Everyone here literally does not speak English, and that's that's fine. But it makes it like hard to communicate with people. If I want to talk to them, or like get some directions or something, it makes it really difficult. But I feel like, dude, if I was single, I'd be so easy to just pull anybody in, in Italy, bro. Because I feel like in America, I look ugly as fuck. But in Italy, I think I look really attractive. Like, I think the Italian women really fuck with me. Hello, how are you? How are you guys doing? Do you speak English? Yeah, no, I am so sorry. Do you, do you not fuck with me? Yeah, but they're not Italian, though. I really think the Italian women really fuck with me, dude. Because I have, like, really good Italian features. I got high cheekbones, black hair, dark eyes. I'm fucking tall, I'm fucking skinny. Like, I really think that, you know, in certain parts of the world, I'm highly attractive. They think you're ugly as fuck, but that's not true though. I don't think so. Like, if I went to fucking Saudi Arabia, I think I'd be considered highly attractive. Because I think they under I think they know, like, I think they like, you know, darker features. But in America, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes is like a thing that people prefer. 
So, you know, not that attractive. But when I was in Japan, bro, those Japanese girls were all over my, my D, bro. I'm telling you, they were trying to fuck me left to right. I had to keep saying no. I was like, no, no, no. Don't want to fuck. I have a girlfriend. I'm serious. Like, dude, Japan, those Japanese girls, I'm considered a god over there. They fucking think I'm so attractive. I think it's just because I'm American. I feel like any white American dude or any American dude, black, white, whatever, could go over to Japan and get laid with a new girl every day. Like, honestly. Oh, wait, this is a barber shop, I think. Excuse me. Do you cut hair? Do you know how to fade? Ah, uh, Google Translate. The good old Google Translate. Do you know how to fade? <laughs> no, I says, do you know how to say it? No, that's not what I meant. Why did it say, do you know how to say it? No, no, I mean, it's got here, restart it, the whole thing, dude. Okay. <laughs> Vuoi fare i capelli? Yes, do you know how to fade? Fade, fade. yeah, fade. <laughs> do you know how to fade? Yes, do you, you understand, yes? Do you know how to feed? Oh, come on. Here, let me, let me. I want to look like Johnny Depp. Oh, I fucked up. I changed it to Russian, dude. Show her a pic? I can't, dude. I'm streaming. I want to look like Johnny Depp. Yes. Io faccio i capelli, non i miracoli. Uh, not miracles. <laughs> hey, hey, though, no, come on now. All right, how uh, quanto costa? No, how low? Yeah. Cosa vuoi fare? Taglio di capelli, colorazione, keratina. What do you want to do? The keratin coloring haircut. Yeah, it's just cut, cut, clean, clean up, like nice. How, how much, uh, like, uh, psh, money? Cigarette and salad, let's go. All right, 18? You said this one? Yeah, 18? Uh, 28. 28? No, uh, aspetta. <laughs> 18 euros. For haircuts, what about shave? No shave? No. no? No barber. <laughs> Faccio solo il taglio, non sono un barber. Ah, uh, yes. What is this? Taglio bimbo? Bimbo fino a 15. Oh, mamacitas? What is bimbo? Che cos'è il bimbo? Oh, yeah, che cos'è il bimbo? È un bambino fino a 15 anni. Is a child. Oh, bimbo means child? Bro, in America they call bimbos like stupid. I guess that makes sense though, because if you're a bimbo, you're a child, and therefore you have the mentality of a stupid. Oh, don't read that, but. <laughs> okay. Chad, should I do this? Should I get a haircut for 18? How long? Like, uh, how long do you think? Maybe 30 minutes? How long for the haircut? Quanto tempo per il taglio di capelli? Mezz'ora circa, tre quarti d'ora. Half an hour, about three quarters of an hour. Let's do it, yes, let's go, okay. Half an hour to get myself looking not disgusting. All right, we'll go. Let's motherfucker, hopefully it doesn't lag. No, we good. All right, yo, what app is this? What you mean? All right, it's a Google Translate. Yo, we got some nice chairs up in this motherfucker. All right. Oh, dude, I'm sweaty. I'm gross. I haven't showered in four days. Let's go. Uh, hello.
How are you? Do you mind if I record? Yes, I'm doing a live stream. I'm doing a live stream. Is that okay? Okay, perfect. Good. YouTube. YouTube, yes. Very nice. You look like my old teacher, I'm not gonna lie. You look like you look like a teacher I used to have and I had a crush on her. <laughs> Solo ice stream pog. Thanks for streaming so early. Hey, come in. Hey, hey, what's up, dude? Coming in with the fifty dollars. How you doing, bro? Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you, dog. Motherfucking ass. Parts of the chat. Let's go. Thank you, Kay. I appreciate it, homie. To pay for like forties haircuts. How to cut my hair? How to cut my hair? What you mean? Hey, Colza. No. Come vuoi tagliare i capelli? How do you want oh. to cut your hair? <laughs> I want to be Mr. Bean. What you are saying is Senor Bean. Senor Bean. Okay. I'm serious. Let's go. Maybe Google, Google. Um, I show you, me, I show, I type it for you. Mr. Bean? Yeah, actually, fuck it. I'm just gonna look like Mr. Bean, dude. <laughs> Is that okay? No, no, just, just, I like my tough. This is what makes me attractive. I say cut this, okay. right, this, cut the sides very short and leave the top long and clean it. So tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. No English? No. Oh, okay. Hus husband though? Husband though? Do you have a husband? Do you have a husband? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. No, not for twenty five years. <laughs> Trying to cheat though, what's up? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Yo, this is very nice. I have not shampooed my hair in literally four days, dude. Like, my, look at my hair. It looks so disgusting. It's so dirty and fucking gross. I want to look like a literal fucking Roman Colosseum, like, gladiator motherfucker, dude. Um, 
Maltabella. I don't know. Is that what does that mean? I don't know. I think that means like I love you or something, dude. No, that's Tiamo. That's what. That, that's that's what I love you. I used to speak really good Italian when I was in high school because my mom used to speak it, and then I forgot all of it because I never fucking spoke it for for years, dude. But hey, I used to speak it like pretty good. I used to study it and shit. Like, it's, hey, not bad. Now I can just do like, I just know like broken Italian, dude. And I have to like really think about it for a second before I say it. My mom's name was Enza Danino, so of course I knew fucking good Italian. What are you talking about? Ask for happy ending? That's not happy. Come on, bro. She said she's been married for 25 years. What are you talking about? The good part about being in foreign countries is they have no idea what I'm saying, which is amazing. Like, I love when people have no clue what, what the fuck I'm saying because it makes me able to just be so open with my conversation without making anyone feel weird. Like, I could talk about dicks and balls and fucking vaginas all day right now and she would have no idea what I'm saying, which is great. But I'm not going to do that because obviously it's rude, but I'm just clarifying, so, you know, like a, like a point. Call Enza right now? No, my, dude, my mom's working. And by the way, I'm streaming with the phone, so I can't call her. But my mom's, like, working, dude. I can't just fucking call her and be like, hey, speak Italian to fucking these, these people, dude. Imagine she only knows, like, what some words mean. Like, imagine she knows, like, dick means. And I'm over here just, like, randomly, blah, 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 dick, blah, 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 blah. Like, it probably sounds so fucking weird. <laughs> I mean, they obviously know what fuck means. Like the word fuck, everyone knows what the word fuck means, right? Like if somebody says fuck in Italian, I know what they're saying. The word for fuck in Italian is vaffanculo, so I know what that means. Yo, thank you, K, for the member, dude. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you, dog. CX in the chat. Yo, chat, what is some good Italian I could say? I mean, I'm not gonna know if she says back. What's some good Italian? And I'm not, I'm gonna know if you're saying some fucked up shit, cause like, I, I know the fucked up shit in Italian, so don't even try it. Just like a simple, like, normal sentence, dude. Ooh. Ooh, that feels good. Oh, I look hella Italian right now. I kinda wanted to shave my beard, too, but you know what? I'll do that later. Yeah, ciao, come with I know, that's very basic. Hi, Figly? What is that? Hi, Figly? No way, dude. I don't know. Actually, I don't trust anybody in the chat. And I'm, I'm not going. I'm going to get fucking, like, she don't stab me with scissors, bro. <laughs> if, you, if I say anything so that's, like, slightly fucked up on accident. It is me, I... You come to my daughter and you try to date her for her birthday. Bro, I'm looking straight out of Sopranos right now. I'm not gonna lie, everyone in Italy is literally a stereotype of what Italians are. You go to Jersey and you think that they're stereotyping Italians? No, dude, in, in real Italy, everyone is literally exactly how you think they are. Quando post the EO finale erotico? How much for happy ending? No scam. Uh, listen, people don't really understand TTS so well in like different languages like that, but I'm not gonna ask her about a happy ending, bro. Come on. If I do, bro, she's gonna kick me out. She gonna, she gonna be like, that's rude, and like stab me with scissors, bro. Maybe if it feels like an Asian spot, and it was like kind of funny because it's like that's the joke. But this is not Asia. This is not. These aren't Asian people. This is like Italians, and she gonna be like, I'm not a fucking prostitute. Kick me out. So, I would rather not say that. CX in the chat. I just get a fade. I mean, I'm, I think I'm getting a fade, hopefully. Thank you, ads, for the member, dude. I appreciate that, homie. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Because they said they were going to the Vatican. I wonder if they've actually gotten into the Vatican yet. Or if they've been waiting in line the whole time. You look good with hair fully back? Thank you. Hopefully I can stay looking good. <laughs> oh, yes, now we are back to my, the culture of my people. There we go. 
That was looking real good. Dude, I look like a hospital patient. I look like I have fucking cancer right now. Yes. Oh, no, I look like a fucking cone head. You know cone head from the fucking aliens, dude? That's what I look like. Alright. I look like a nun, dude. Very nice. Oh yes. Very good. I look good. Shave beard? Yeah, I'll shave my beard at another point. She doesn't shave the beard. Hope you're enjoying the U trip, dude. It's fun. I like it. Okay. Where are all the other customers, though? It's just me, baby. I'm getting all the love right now. All the support. My breath has been smelling like straight dog shit for like the past week, and I don't know why. I think I might have a cavity. I need to go to the dentist. Like, I brush my teeth and it's still, like, it just smells bad. I think, like, I don't know. I think I have some bacteria on my tongue or, like, a, a fucking cavity or something, dude. Yeah, I mean, it could be dehydration. I haven't had water. I don't think I've had water since I've been on the RV. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've had water for literally almost a month. <laughs> I think I've only had Red Bull and soda. So I should probably get some good water, some good agua. What are you doing? I'm live streaming. I am live streaming on YouTube. Sono in diretta streaming su YouTube. Sì, l'ho capito, ma per che cosa? Yes, I understood it. It is my job to live stream. Yes, yes. It is my job to live stream. Me, I'm back in the United States. I am on the same level as Tom Cruise. Complimenti. Congratulations. Hey, grazie. <laughs> Thank you, grazie. Da dove vieni esattamente? Where are you from exactly? Palm Beach, Florida. Palm Beach, Florida. Yes, lots, lots of Italians in Florida. Lots of pasta restaurants and pizza. Palm Beach, Florida, dude. The sticks. Not really, it's not. Palm Beach ain't the sticks, bro. Come on. Okay sign in Italy means asshole? No, it doesn't, dude. You're lying to me. They don't no, they don't tip in Italy, bro. CX in the chat. Thank you, Ahmed. Ahmed, appreciate that, homie. Thank you for the member, dog. Oh, just keep putting out more and more shit. I like it. Pencil neck. Thank you, bro. I look really good with pencil neck, though. That means I can have sex with my girlfriend with my neck instead of my anything else. I still need coffee, dude. I need like espresso or something. You have espresso? Yeah. Yeah. Come to Munich after Italy. It's in the way to Berlin to Reese Oktoberfest, and I can meet you. This it talks. Thank you, dude. S C X S E X. My phone talks from my viewers. My phone talks from viewers. Gradisci un caffè? Would you like a coffee? Si. Bro, I love Italy. They have coffee literally everywhere. My hotel had coffee. She has coffee. The bus stop has coffee. They literally have a coffee machine at the bus stop. Like, dude, and it's all free. Like, they, people, dude, I fucking love how Italians, and Italians and their coffee are like 
Japanese and the ramen. I fucking love it. It's crazy. It's everywhere. Thank you, Ahmed. Appreciate that, homie. And come to Munich after Italy. Yeah, we're going to Munich for Oktoberfest, then we're going to Berlin, and then back to Amsterdam. That's uh, the plan at the moment. She's a, a gilf? No, she's a milf dog. I know gilf. She's like, a motherfucking milf. She's like 40, dude. She's no, no way she's older than 40. Where's Kimberly? She's hanging out with Tracksuit and uh, Gary. You better... No, I'm not... Listen, I ain't having sex with nobody. What are you talking about, dude? I literally have sex with myself, dude. Get that hairstyle slicked back. Do I look good right now? Do I look less homeless? Wee oui, wee, oui, how are you doing today? Welcome to my part of the barber. Porca Madonna di Quella Putana. Say proprio figa. What does that mean? Porca Madonna di Quella. Is it bad, no? No, what is that? I don't know. I don't know what CX I said. CX in the chat. Right. I don't know what I said. This, look. What is that? Que, que cosa? Okay, yeah, I'm... L'esclamazione di una bestemmia per dire figa. Oh. Okay, something about blasphemy. Don't say that, motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, thank you. Grazie. Sorry, sorry. How do you say sorry? Sorry. Sorry? No, grazie. No, this... <laughs> I'm sorry, somebody said that and I don't know what it means. Non ti preoccupare, in Italia molti bestemmiano per fare delle esclamazioni più approfondite. Don't worry, in Italy many swears have made more in death exclamations. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. Oh, it's really hot. Oh, that tastes good too. This is motherfucking nice in espresso, dude. Yo, homie, let her read the Sono you in a superstar. You're not CEO, not national. BDW. Oh, Sono una superstar in international now. Inter yeah. Sono una superstar international. Non capisco il senso. S-E-X, 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 S-E-X. Thank you, Ahmed. Uh, the meaning is... I don't know what it means either. Non so neanche cosa significhi. Nemmeno io. Mi neither. Fuck it, dude. Dude, TTS does not translate very well to other languages chat it like doesn't make sense you know what i mean it like uh, it's like trying to like you know how the google translate is kind of like scuffed and like what it's saying back to me it's what it sounds like in tts dude i kind of like this hairstyle right now it looks not bad hopefully it comes out looking good i think it will she seems like she's really good Yo, Ahmed, why you keep saying it? Motherfucker saying that. At S, S E X. Sex, yes, indeed, sex. Do I look like fucking. What, what's his name? Oliver? Fucking Oliver Big or something, dude? The rapper? Oh, yeah, I can tell. I'm gonna look real Italian after this one. Anything's better than before, that's what I'm saying, dude. My hair before is... S-E-X, 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 S-E-X. tree, bro. But I need to do my, my, my hair before was so bad, dude. Like, it was just dirty and long and gross. Tip her good? I mean, they don't really tip in, in Italy, dude. Why are you going back to Amsterdam? We have to drop the RV off. 
Thumbs up in Iran and parts of Italy, the gesture is regarded as an obscene insult equivalent to what the middle finger signifies in most of Europe, especially when combined with a sweep of the arm. What does that mean, a sweep of the arm? Dude, there's no way that giving a thumbs up is the same thing as the middle finger in Italy. You're crazy, dude. I refuse to believe that. And surely if I did a thumbs up in Italy, they would not think that I'm flicking them off. Because they would know that in American culture it's different. I mean, I would think they would know, right? Yo, what's up, Drake? How you doing? Maybe in Iran it's like that because their country seems backwards, but in Italy, where it's like a first world country, I think it's fine. Thumbs up is fine, but not the okay sign. Dude, how is the okay sign bad? What What is wrong with that? This is like, okay. Dude, I've seen Italians do an okay sign. What do you mean? Unless they were really just telling me something else. Dude, the Roman emperor used to do a thumbs up when he did it when he did not want to kill a gladiator. So there's no way it means anything bad. It represents an asshole. No, it doesn't. Dude, no, it doesn't, dude. How long am I staying in Amsterdam? Probably like eh, a couple days before we fly out, or a day or two. I don't know. Va bene così i dati o li vuoi ancora più corti? Hello, look, chat. Who do you think? Shorter or, or this is good? Ooh, I don't even know. It might be good, actually. What is a nuance? Uh, I don't even know what that means. I think shorter. A little, little more shorter? Maybe a little shorter? I need to get my hair re-dyed as well. Back to my, you know, black. Back to my natural color because my shit is super light at the top. I don't know why. It's like light brown, as you can see. Unless you guys think the light brown looks good. Dude, whenever I get a haircut, I always feel so good. Like, it's so relaxing. It's super nice. Like, if I was not streaming, I could literally fall asleep right now. Thank you, Discord Ambassador. I don't know what that means, but some uh, some Arabic fucking language, dude. I appreciate it, though. Thanks for the time, bro. Whatever. I don't know what it means, though. Th thank you, dude. I haven't had a real haircut in five years. Dude, your hair must be long as fuck, dude. What do you mean? What did that mean in fucking Arabic? You know those ASMR videos where it's like you get a haircut, it's like a, you put headphones on and it's like a 3D binaural like microphone or something and it and it uh, it sounds like you're there. Like it like you got scissors that are cutting like behind your ear and like in front of you you're like getting sprayed with water and shit. Like I think bro, those videos are amazing. I literally listen to those videos all the time. How long is the stream delay? Like two seconds. Those videos sound and it's not ASMR, it's like 3D binaural. It makes you, you close your eyes and you pretend, you really think you're there. Where's Vex? Vex went uh, back to Ireland, he went back home. I still play Classic WoW? Well, I haven't played Classic WoW since I've been on this trip, so... I'll probably play a little bit when I get back, but I'm so behind, I'm kind of like demotivated, not gonna lie. ASMR is good, nobody wants to admit it though, bro. I think most people can admit that ASMR is good. I don't know, I've met, a, so a lot of people, so everyone else in the RV thinks ASMR is shit, except for me. But, 
on the internet, it's different. On the internet, people agree that ASMR is amazing. So it's just in real life, people won't admit it. Circo della Bomba do Vla Posa Trove. Listen, we're not going to, I don't know what that means. We're not going to play shit out of the TTS, or I don't know what it means, because you're going to make it all fucking like, like, I don't know, you're going to fender or something, dude, like the last guy did. So please, just donate in English. Yeah, we're going to cut the top uh, more, obviously. TSA is flirting with Kim. I, that's fine, dude. Kim would never cheat on me, so that's fine. I miss Vex. Uh, Vex is alright. Yeah, I like Vex. He was good. He never streamed, though, but I did like him. Spike my hair. I'll probably slick it back or something. Oh, yeah. Thank you, yes. TSA's balls deep in Kimberly right now. Thank you so much, dude. Listen, why do you say that? Don't say that. What the hell's wrong with you, dude? Why, why would you, why would you tell me that? Vex is growing on me. Yeah, Vex was, uh, he was definitely growing on everybody, I think. He said some dumb shit, but it was fine. Do I look Italian right now or Arab chat? If I got a tan today, I'd be really looking like a Guido. I just I'll Guido out today, bro. Homeless? Come on, dude. I don't look like homeless, dude. How how would I even look homeless? Homeless people have like beards and shit, dude. I look, how or how do you say do I look Italian? How do you how do you say that? Do do I look? I don't know, I got yellow teeth because I drink a lot of coffee. My shit stains. I need to get my teeth whitened, bro, but they're like, it's like $500. But that's fine, I'll do it. Sembro Italiano? Sembro Italiano? <laughs> Good. Thank you, Grazi. <laughs> Do I have a skin routine? What, what's your skincare routine? Bro, I don't have a skincare routine. I don't even take, I, bro, I don't even take. I'm literally America. I literally don't even take showers, homie. What is that? Oh, and listen, I stop speaking Italian in the TTS. I don't know what it means. I'm not going to say it. I don't know if it's good or bad or what. Thank you, Apox the Dollar, but thank you, Dama, for the seven. But I don't know what it means, so I can't say it, but thank you, dude. I don't want to be highly offensive to everyone, to, to her, dude. Sembro homeless? Homeless. 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 Do I look homeless? What does that mean? Non saprei. I do not know. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? It's not, there must be like mistranslation or something. Obviously, I don't look fucking homeless, dude. Like, clearly. It, might, it probably said, the translation was probably like, do I have a home or something? Or like, do I look like without a home? Or like, it probably didn't even make sense. They probably don't have the word homeless in Italian. Non so giudicare mai dall'apparenza. I can never judge by appearance. Oh, she did understand. Uh, I am not homeless. I am not homeless. I am not homeless. I am not no. It literally it said no. I am not homeless. It said I am not always, implying that I'm sometimes homeless. <laughs> I, I know, I would be sorry too, bro. Bro, 
roasted by AI. Nah, dude. Do you get evicted a lot, bro? I'm good. I've been evicted for four months. I'm good. I got this place set. Or like five months have been now, or almost six months. I got this place completely set, dude. She's been chill, yo. She's been chill as fuck, I know. I kinda want more, more uh, espresso, though. Can I have a more espresso? Finisco di fare la sfumatura. Finisco di fare la sfumatura e te ne faccio un altro. Okay. Okay. Grazie. Do a solo trip in England, not London, bro. I don't like all any of England. All of England is boring except for London, but and London's like a shit city. Is it rude to ask for more? Espresso? What do you mean? Why is that rude? I'm just like, I'm tired, you know? I haven't had any coffee today, or like a caffeine, so I'm like really tired. I don't think it's, why is it rude? What the, how the fuck is it rude? I feel like that's a normal thing to like ask for more. She's not a barista. Yeah, but like, come on, bro. It's like a, she made one, so why not another? I mean, right, if I work, bro, if I was giving out coffee, I, I'd give people, I'd give, dude, I'd give more coffee, I'd give hella coffee, yeah, what you mean? To make sure my customers come back. Ice y'all Ice y'all What does that mean? Are you from the Middle East or something, dude? What is that? Oh, your name's Hamad backwards. Oh, Ice y'all What does that mean? I'm assuming you were Discord ambassador as well. What the fuck are you saying, Dama? But my fucking ass, I'll figure it out. It means you're gay. Bro, I didn't, I'm surprised they even have the word gay in Middle East language. Because I feel like like they just kill you when you're gay, right? So I'm surprised they even have the word gay in its vocabulary. We will never see the Coliseum. I know, it's only 4.30 right now, so we, can, we have all day to see Coliseum, bro. It's 4.30, close at 8, we're good. Then we still need to go to Vatican, we're good bro, don't worry about it. Dude, the cars are ridiculous. We still have to walk like 30 minutes to the fucking Coliseum. Unless I can somehow find a taxi. As if she has any daughters, nah bro, I'm not gonna ask that. I just wanna get the haircut done, dude. What you mean? We don't kill people for being gay, what the fuck? I mean, right, like in some places, like Pakistan or some, don't they stone you for being gay? I'm pretty sure they do. Maybe I'm just a brainwashed American, because that's what the American government and American, like, CNN tells me. They say that if you go to the Middle East and you're gay, you will die. Essentially. That's, like, essentially what they say. Not all of the Middle East, but, like, you know, like, Saudi Arabia and shit, you know? Yeah, we're not going to Greece. We don't have any time right now to go to Greece on this trip. My nose is clogged. I need to, like, blow my fucking nose, dude. Pakistan literally has ancient gay shit in their culture before Islam got there. What do you mean? What the fuck is it? What ancient gay shit? What are you talking about? What the fuck did they do in Pakistan that was gay? I know the Spartans used to give each other blowjobs and shit. And, like, fuck each other. Because there was no women around until the women were, like, slaves. So the Spartans had to, like, literally fuck each other to get their nut off. But that doesn't make them gay. That just makes them, like... Like, it's all they had, you know what I mean? They prefer women, but they will, like, they'll, they'll deal with a man, you know what I mean? Society from back in time. They'd be, like, sucking mad dick and, like, huge muscular-ass dudes. I 
Like, imagine being a huge muscular Spartan dude and then you're over there sucking like some dick, dude. Come to Frankfurt, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna stop in Frankfurt. I think we're only stopping in Munich and Berlin, but we'll uh, we'll see, dude. So are inmates not gay? No, I don't think inmates. I don't think inmates are gay. They prefer women, but you know, if men are all they, it's all they got. Then you know, you do what you gotta do. It doesn't mean you're gay though. It just means you're accepting. PBC equals Spartan, dude. I don't know if I say that. Yo, what is uh, track suit and carry and all those guys doing? What, what, what is everyone up to? Are they at the Vatican right now? Because we're probably going to end up seeing them. We're probably going to end up running into them. But I think they're streaming on Twitch, so I have to be careful with that. Unless Tracksuit's live, then he's probably streaming on YouTube. I want to see the Pope, dude. Is the Pope, is the Pope uh, in the Vatican, or is it just like, like, does he go outside, or does he just stay inside all day? The Pope, not the Pope. The, the Pope. I mispronounced my words because I'm just tired. I need to get more caffeine in my fucking system immediately. I bought some caffeine gum today and it did not work. I chewed like four pieces of caffeine gum and I didn't feel shit. Does the Pope go outside? The Pope? Me scusi? Does the, the Pope? Does the Pope go outside? Oh, okay. Got you, okay. Have you ever seen the Pope? Perché? Vuoi saperlo? Perché vuoi saperlo? Why do you want to know it? I want to see the Pope. Voglio vedere il Papa. Domenica mattina lo vedi? Do you see it on Sunday morning? Oh. A San Pietro. To San Peter. Sunday morning, San Peter, ok. Ok. okay. <laughs> Chat, y'all are just cheat no. Io sono italiana e non ho mai visto un papa. I'm obviously a Taurus. I'm Italian and I've never seen a dad. Hey, ha <laughs> hey, half of America has the same problem, baby cakes. Um she probably meant like never seen the Pope. You've never seen the Pope? What do you mean? You live here. What are you talking about? Every Sunday though, huh? I guess you have to go out of your way to see the Pope. Like you have to go find the Pope. Dude, I want to see the Pope. Although, I'm not going to be here Sunday, so I guess I won't be able to. Dude, I'm clearly just a tourist. Y'all are just a hot... Dude, y'all are pessimistic as fuck. Why else would I want to see the Pope other than take a fucking photo of him? Come on. I wonder how long... I wonder how long the line to the Coliseum is. That shit's probably long as fuck, dude. Pope at the weed shop. Oh, dude, they have a weed shop. They have a weed shop literally across the street from the Coliseum. So if we go over to the Coliseum, I'm gonna go in the weed shop. I'm gonna buy some weed, and we're not gonna smoke it. But you know, maybe later, and I'm just gonna see like what kind of shit they got, bro. They got literally weed in the Vatican, bro, or like in Rome. They have fucking weed shops. Of who would have ever thunk? That's crazy to me, because this is like a very religious place. So they're like, but although this is the catch. Gary said the weed only has 1% THC. I'm like, come on. 
Like, that's not weed. That's like, that's CBD, bro. That's not like, what the fuck is 1% THC gonna do? You're gonna need to literally smoke seven blunts at the same time to get slightly high. You know what I mean? The most, usually THC levels are like 20%. So 1% is like dog shit. They are waiting in line to call CM. All right, well, I guess we'll probably end up <laughs> seeing them then, because after this haircut, we're going right to call CM. I guess the Vatican didn't work out, or I don't even know. I'll have to ask him about it. How's the audio sound? Somebody says fix audio. Should be good. Real weed is medical card only? Dude, really? How do you get a medical in Italy? Is it like, uh, you have to have cancer or like just anything like California, like back pains and shit? Yeah, I don't know why. I literally made sure the, the microphone was good before the stream and I checked it and it was fine. Like it, it sounds fine to me, so I don't know. If you don't feel 1% THC, it's because you're an addict, bro. Who the fuck feels 1% THC? Like, what do you mean, dude? 1% is nothing. Alright, I think we're almost done here, chat. It's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, it doesn't make you an addict, it's just tolerance, yeah, indeed. It's called marijuana light fate bleh. I don't know what that means. Someone is stalking you in the other room? What other room? Over there? What are you guys talking about? Twenty-four hour stream? Well, I'm gonna stream along today and we will uh, see what happens. I mean, if there ain't really, if there really ain't nothing to do at like 4 a.m., then you know I'm not going to continue to stream just to, just for the sake of it. But you know, I'll stream all the way up until we literally have nothing to do. All right. Obviously, there's sound. What do you mean, no sound, dude? All right. We're looking pretty good right now. I look like a mini Jesus, indeed. Let's go. It lies, dude. I mean, hey, hopefully I just don't run out of data. Let's go. Motherfucking 4 a.m. stream, baby. You look hella ugly, bro. I don't think so. I don't think, bro, I think I look mad good. And I already told you. I bet I can get somebody to tell me that I'm very sexy. Whether it's a man or female or whatever. I bet I can tell somebody, yes, you are sexy. The word sexy, if they understand English. Not you're attractive or you're okay. I bet I can get somebody to say you're sexy. Excuse me. I want to ask a question. So, for me, it's Luke. so I hope this does not sound weird, but my viewer called me ugly and I want to ask you if I am sexy. up in this bitch there you go i mean that took kind of long though <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> we might stop in vienna and get like food or something but we don't really have time to wait and like stay a night over there what okay yes yes i'm, se I'm sexy <laughs> guarantees they want to drive back tonight what do you mean what are you talking about they want to drive back tonight? Bro, we literally just got here. So we're going to drive 14 hours to Germany right now. We're not going to get any content, dude. 
che ha molto aiutato il mio taglio di capelli. Hey. Amazing, that's some good shit. Go to Germany tonight, bro. I'm pretty sure Rome to Munich is like over 10 hours long. So you know it's gonna take us two days to get there. Like if we leave to Munich tonight, we're not gonna get there for like two days, bro. I guarantee it. And I'm like fucking so tired of driving. We've been driving for literally Gary even said he wanted to stay in a city for a couple days so we could stream. Why the fuck you, why, why are we going to drive out after a day of being here? <laughs> I don't believe you guys. There's no way he said that. I literally do not believe any of you guys that said that. I don't think Gary said that. I'm just, because like we just got here dude my dude would be really nice for even just a few hours if you guys stay here I'd really love to see you meet you guys we've been fan for four years in Paraguay we live here five years hey I'm down for that bro cut the fluff more no I like the fluff uh, yeah I mean listen if we stop in Vienna then I'll be sure to go live for you know for those couple hours and we'll uh, we'll see why does Raxu want to drive out of Rome like that? there's so much content in Rome like there's so much shit to do why would we go to fucking Munich? Like, I know there's Oktoberfest, but we're gonna be there for one day, and then drive to Berlin, be there for one day, and then drive to Amsterdam, and then it's over. Dude, my top don't look goofy. I look good, bro. Come on. How long is Oktoberfest? Like, how, like, what's the, when does it start, when does it end? I think it's like three days long, right? Are you going to Chernobyl? We don't have any time to go to Chernobyl, and we also need a visa to go to Ukraine. Which, we don't have a visa, so we can't get in, anyways. Am I gonna get a new suit this time as well? <laughs> Probably not gonna get a new suit. The last time I got a suit in Italy, that shit was like two thousand dollars. Trim the face. Uh, at some point, I don't need to do it right now, though. She's not a barber, so she can't do it. And I don't want to spend 2000 on a suit right now because, bro, I literally will lose it. I've lost all of my suits I've ever bought. I've, I've lost everything I've ever bought. I'm not going to lie, dude. And by the way, here in Vienna, it's also start the Oktoberfest. You can see a bunch of good content here, my dude. Is Vienna... What do you mean? Vienna has an Oktoberfest as well? How do you lose a suit? I left it at my ex-girlfriend's house and I'm pretty sure she took it or gave it to somebody or something. Don't really know, but something like that. She's cheated on you multiple times. Who has? You're not talking about Kimberly. She's never done that. She would, she would literally never do that. She's not a bad person. Should I gel my hair chat or leave it like this? I think I'm gonna gel it. Just to look as good as possible for like half a day. Even though I haven't showered and I still look like shit. Tip 500, dude. I'm not tipping 500, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, we're gonna still go to the Coliseum. I just had to get a haircut real quick. I'm so thirsty as well. I need water, I need coffee, I need it all. Some good shaved ice, Italian shaved ice would be good, and Italian gelato would be good. 
You don't have to be a bad person to cheat, Paul. Well then, what do you mean? You don't think... I mean, I guess. Like, I've definitely gone down the route of cheating on my ex before. But I recognize it as, like, terrible and really, really bad. So, maybe you're not a bad person if you cheat, but you're definitely, like... Something's, like, something's bad about that relationship. Good relationships don't cheat, bro. What about K bubbles? What do you mean? What about her? All relationships cheat nowadays? Well, you're not, not very good relationships then. Best looking actors get cheated on? Yeah, I don't know how. I think I think people cheat in relationships when the relationship is not doing good. I think that's what happens. It doesn't matter how attractive or successful you are. You could, if I was a fucking millionaire, my girlfriend could still cheat on me with somebody who's not a millionaire and a lot uglier than me. You know, if they like them. Relationships, like, people cheat when it's like they don't have the fulfillment in the relationship that they're looking for, but they don't really want to leave because they're like scared. They're like scared of leaving or like scared of being alone or something. I mean, that's what I think at least. And I, I only say that from my own experience, you know? Like I definitely had, when I was with my ex-girlfriend and I, you know, cheated, um, I had, I was just not getting what I wanted out of the relationship, and I was like, you know, I just didn't want to break up because I didn't want to be alone. So it's not a good idea. Like it's not good to do, and it's awful. But um, that was just my personal experience. So I just assume that's how everyone is. It looks good. Yes, yes, yes. Bene. Mettiamo un po' di gel. Okay, yes. Let's get some gel. Yes. I'm gonna look good and sexy. Alright, we're done. How do I look, chat? We're gonna get some gel and then go to Coliseum, baby. Let's do it. Ooh, I like that. Oh, dude, this brush always feels so good. Frankfurt, bro. I'm gonna go to Munich in Berlin. We're not. We can't go to Frankfurt. We don't have any time. If you come to Italy or EU and you sit in a barber shop like you could have anywhere else in the world, are you fucking serious, Ice? No, buddy. We're about to go to the Colosseum. I wanted to get a haircut. What are you talking about? Listen, dude. Little do you know, everywhere in the world is exactly the same. You do the same shit anywhere in the world. Anything you can do in Rome, you can do in, in, in Texas. Like, there's no difference. People may assume, like, oh, you're in Italy, why don't you do this? Why don't you eat this food? Why don't you do that? But, bro, it's all the same. You go to Austin or fucking LA and have the same fucking Italian food that you can here. It's all literally the same. You're, the only thing that's different is the vibe. Like, the vibe and the people. So it doesn't matter what you do, it's how it's done. You know what I mean? Like, for example, me talking to her, this is like a nice vibe, and she's like clearly Italian, and like we got like a nice hospitality Italian vibe going on here, like, you know what I mean? Whereas in Texas, it'd be like more of like a less... Let her trim your beard. And maybe like some K-Kona, like, country fucking music playing or something. Let her trim your beard. Alright, I'll ask her if she can trim the beard, but I don't think she will. Dumbass food's never the same, bro. If you go to an authentic Italian restaurant in Texas or LA, it's the same food that's here. There's no difference. Bro, some ramen places in LA were just as good as the ramen places in Japan. The only difference was in Japan, the ramen was cheaper. With your logic, you could have done the RV solely in Texas. Well, no, of course not, because like I just said, the vibe is different. And the cultures are different. 
but you all do, like every culture does the same stuff. Unless you're like going into a fucking tribe somewhere in South Guinea. Dude, I look like fucking Carrot Top, dude. Maybe not. I look like fucking... You know the statue of David? I literally look like statue of David. Right? I look good as fuck, boy. <laughs> Ramen noodle hair, dude. How's it look? I look good as fuck. I'm looking really Italian right now, aren't I? I got rid of the Arab look, now I'm Italian. <laughs> no difference, dude. Well, no, my sides are clearly cut, so my top is a lot cleaner, too. There's not as many loose ends. Looks like Arby's fries, bro. <laughs> Come on, dude. I don't look like Arby's French fries. What are you talking about? Arby's French fries? Come on, buddy. Have you ever been to Arby's? Why did I go to Italy then? All right, let me ask you. What do you want me to do then, Mr. D Jocks? I don't know what you. Like, we're going to the Coliseum right now. They don't have that in Texas. What do you, what do you mean? What the fuck you want from me? I'm drinking fucking espresso in a fucking barbershop. It's, if it's, if that doesn't get more Italian, I don't know what else does. <laughs> Bruh, I do not look, me and Traxxas do not look anything alike. You guys are nuts. Am I going to RuneFest? No, I'm not. Because we're, we're just going to be back in, uh, in America by then. Is Rome really expensive? Want to go there? Uh, it's not really that expensive, to be honest. The food kind of is kind of is in like a touristy area, but, you know, for the most part, it's just like any other city. Put on media? I mean, I don't really do media too often. It is, uh, it's always on though, I just don't play it. Oh, there you go, she got the nice motherfucking razor. Ooh. Ooh, that feels good. Can you cut the beard? Take him to Spanish Steps. The boutiques are great. What is Spanish Steps? What is that? I took her to Spain in Barcelona. We went shopping for rum and we like got drunk, so that was fun. But hey, five stars in the chat, indeed. What's your name? Mariella. Mariella? Yes. Yo, five stars with Mariella in the chat. She's doing a great job. She's patient as fuck and she fucking did it. I look good. She's patient. I got coffee. She looked good. What's up? My fucking. All, all Take him to Spanish Steps. The boutiques are great. Oh yes, I like. Very good. Very nice. I like that. Yes. Looking good, eyes. Looking good, eyes. Thank you, Kuda. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you so much. All right, back again with the thing. I think she's gonna get my beard now, real quick. I finally don't look homeless for the first time in the month.
Okay. Yes, see. I look good. Tracksuit and Kim would make a cute couple. STC, why would you say that? Why do you, why, bro, don't ever, come on, dog, don't, I never want you to donate that ever again, dude, come on. Tracksuit and camel make a cute couple, Get, uh, come on, dog. What's up? Like, that's ridiculous, like, no way. Like, she's, like, bro, we've been dating for almost a year. Next month, it will be one year of dating. So why you gotta say that? Come on, dog, motherfucking ass. I know you like motherfucking, you know, you've been watching for a while and this and that, but come on, why are you trying to make me feel bad? Like, I'm insecure about my girlfriend, dude, because I know she can get much better than me, so come on, dude. Makes me feel all sad. No, I'm just kidding, but for real, don't say that. All right, yo, yo, listen, bro, we gotta get rid of this. I look like I'm drinking chocolate milk. Can we get rid of this? Like, like, off? Huh? Can we? But I saw you on Oh, it's okay. I've been drinking chocolate no. milk and that's quick, baby. Let's go. Oh crap, that is ice not tracksuit. Look TH, same now. Comunque ti do quello che ho usato per te, di rasoio, e poi parla tranquillamente. However, I give you what I use for you to shave and then do it quietly. <laughs> oh, you want, I want me to do it? Oh, I'll do it, yeah, I'll shave. Yo, STC, oh crap, that is I is not practicing. Look the same now. No, we don't look anything alike, what do you mean, dude? What are you talking about? Me? Si. Io non ho bar schiuma, non ho queste cose, aspetta. Io non ho schiuma da barba, non ho queste cose per fare la barba. Attento. It's okay. Attento, eh. Ti conviene farla nel bagno, tu? It's better to do it in your bathroom. No, it's okay. Gang. Bro, I look awful. Attento che ti tagli. Fuck it, dude, I look good. Alright. Perfecto. Perfecto. Stai attento. Ok. Okay. It's okay. We're looking bad. We're looking immaculate right now. What's up? Alright. Alright, so let's just let this pay now. I will put this razor in my pockets for when some guy tries to rob me. I will stab him. You pull it off better. I'm just kidding. What? Oh god. Oh yeah. It's all over me. It's fine. You pull it off better? What you mean? Pull off? You think I pulled a hair? What you mean? I don't look anything like tracksuit, bro. Well, come on, dog. What you talking about, homie? Chat. Chat, do I look anything like tracksuit, Andy? Listen, I like him, but we don't look the same. Come on. That's like telling me I look like fucking EBZ. Come on, dude. Like, um, that doesn't make sense, you know? Like, me and EBZ don't look the same. So it's like, it doesn't make sense to say tracksuit. We don't look the same. Come on, dude. Alright, let's get my backpack and let's see how much, how much money. Oh, you make, oh, she's making a coffee. Oh, it's so nice. Gracie. Very nice. I like. How how long you cut hair? Very long. 20 years. I don't understand that at this moment. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, 
How do you say years, chat, in, in Italian? Five hundred tip, dude. Come on, bro. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. How long do you cut hair? It is very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, how, how much? Gang. Gang shut, dude. Only 18 motherfucking dollars. Let's go. Very nice. Here you go, 20. Are you mad you look same because he is Albanian? Good. What is this? Not a receipt. Uh, are you mad you look? Dude, yeah, I, well, I'm not mad. I'm just, I, you're wrong. I'm sorry. I like you, FCC, but you're wrong. I don't look like. I do, I do not look like tracks, dude, Andy, bro. Albanian. I do not look, I mean, I don't think I look Albanian. I'm clearly Italian. The receipt. Thank you. You're not supposed to tip in Italy, chat. Thank you so much. You know, yeah, I don't think you're supposed to tip, dude. I'm pretty sure it's like considered rude. And I'm pretty sure she gets the whole 18. Bro, I don't think. Hello. Okay, dude, that guy looking mad weird. All right, yo. I don't think you, you don't tip, bro. You don't. This is not America. Like America is like the only country where you tip. In the rest of the world, it's not common or it's actually considered rude to tip. So I can't, dude. Like, is she gonna be like, why are you giving me more money? I don't need your fucking money. Like, if you, that's what it is. If you tip in other countries, it's like, why are you giving me extra money? What am I fucking poor? Don't give me that shit. Like, that's the mentality. It's like, give me, you, you pay them what, you know, what you owe them. And if you try to give them extra money, it's like, you know, it comes off as like condescending or something, you know? It's like trying to give money, it's like trying to give money to, so to like a guy in a Ferrari. Like you walk up to a dude driving a Ferrari and you're like, here's a hundred, here's like 20 bucks dude, you need it. And the guy will be like, get the fuck out of my face. I mean, I think at least, I don't know, that's just, that's what I looked up, so. Listen, motherfucking ass is all good. Alright, where the fuck's the taxi at? I need to get the hell to the Coliseum before the shit closes. It closes in fucking four hours. We gotta hurry up. Motherfucking espresso. You are gonna wait in line for 30 minutes? Let's go. We got here. Come on. Look at the drop your shit. Ah, a lot of women in Italy, that is for sure. Hello. How are you? Am I a creepy as fuck? Yeah, I'm creepy as fuck, I guess. Keep running, bro. <laughs> Keep running, dog. Nice. Right. Yo, fucking, I need to... I guess, I mean... I wish... I don't know, it, it was literally, I mean, it's a 45 minute walk, not anymore, where we started originally, it was 45 minutes from there, it's probably like a 25 minute walk from now, taxi, god dude, it's the first taxi I've seen in fucking three hours, bro, alrighty, bro, they really chained the garbage can, are you kidding me? They really chain the trash can, dude? I guess they don't want homeless people eating out of the garbage. But why? Like, if a homeless guy wants to eat out of the garbage, fucking let him. Like, I don't know. Why not let him eat out of the trash can, dude? Go to Vatican. We're going to go to Coliseum and Vatican. I mean, if, you know, if everyone else wants to leave tonight, then I got to see everything before we leave. Even though I don't really want to leave tonight, but, you know, it is what it is. They at the Vatican. I thought chat earlier the chat said they're at the Coliseum. There's no way they've seen both so far. Like, 
There's no fucking way. Especially with the probably like lines of amount of people that are at both these things. Check out Spanish Steps has all the designer shops. It, where is that? Is that like a shop in Italy or something? I mean, if it's a shop, I'll check it out. I'll bring Kimberly over there or something, but you know, we'll see. We Americans, we tip, don't be a socialist. Hey, well, no one else here is American, so we don't tip. Motherfucker, they can tip me, but I can't tip them. What's up? All right, I think there's like a, a church or something over this way. So they might have taxi lines at the church. I'm just trying to like... I don't know, I'm just trying to find where a taxi line would be at. Bro, look at this street though. This shit looking hella scuffed. I mean, it's looking less scuffed as we walk this way. The more we walk this way, the less scuffed it gets, which is great. But it's still pretty scuffed. Like, I mean, we're clearly in Rome, but, like, this shit is mad dirty. And everyone smokes fucking cigarettes. There's cigarettes fucking everywhere, dude. And the whole city smells like smoke. Alrighty. Let's see here. I don't even know where I'm going, to be honest. I think I know where I'm going, but I'm not really 100% sure. I feel like I should have seen the church by now. Because we passed a church, like a big-ass fucking church. Someone is following you, Monkus. Who's following me? I don't see nobody. Ain't no one following me. I'll notice it. Nah, we're good. If we, if somebody was following me, we'd see it. Use the metro versus the Coliseum, yeah, but if we use the metro, I don't have internet. There's no, there's no internet underground in the metro, and you know that's the problem. No, I think I know where I am. The church is over here. I remember passing this wind store right there. And like all of this garbage right here, so I think we're good. Oh, we need to get. All right, dude. She's fucking hates me. Let's go. All right, dude. It smells so bad here. Like, just it smells like garbage. Dude, I look really good. People said don't shave the beard. I look scuffed without it, but I think I look good without a beard. I mean, I haven't had no beard in like months, dude. So I think I look good now without it. When everyone sees me, they're gonna be like, damn, you looking mad fine right now, you look different. Or maybe they won't even notice. They didn't even notice when I shit the mustache. Just ask a business to call a taxi for you. Yeah, I mean, I could try that. I don't think they will, though, but I'll try. Hello. Tracksuit? No. Huh? Taxi. 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 This. How far? Just this way? Yeah. And there's a line. Oh, okay. Thank you. Or you can just call the number zero six thirty five seventeen. Number six. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's just go the two minute walk over here to the. Let's just go. Well, I thought <laughs> that do look like tracks, dude. Let's just go to two minute walk over this way. There's a t oh, yeah. Buy a key lock and take him to the Milvisha Bridge. It's a famous key lock bridge in Rome. Buy a key lock and take him. Yo, I'm down for that shit, but I, we're doing a solo stream today, but I'm down. Motherfucker, before we leave Rome, I'm going to buy a key lock. If we see a key lock store, I'm going to buy a key lock. Then me and Kim can go put the thing on the bridge real quick. I'm totally down for that. Yo, this is a bus stop. Bro, this place is looking hella scuffed, bro. Literally looks like I'm in Skid Row right now. Alright. At least it's not dangerous. Like, I haven't... I have not felt any amount of danger since I've been here. Now, when the sun goes down, it's, and if it's dark, this area, probably not very good in the dark. But during the day, it's alright. I feel no danger. Alright, they said the taxi line was this way. But where the fuck is it? I thought this was it, but it's not. And I do not even remember that number, which I, I can't even call it anyways. But for some reason, my phone doesn't call, like, international numbers. Two-minute walk, he said. Dude, where? Am I missing something? Like, am I fucking retarded? Excuse me. Me scusi, me scusa. 
Can, can you call a taxi? This way. This way? Five minutes. Oh, five minutes, thank you. Ah, shit, now it's five minutes, dude. Fucking this way, alrighty. Dude, it, I bet they're just lying to me. They're just telling me it's like this way, so I fucking leave them alone. Just call a taxi. I can't. I just told you I can't. My phone doesn't call international. I don't know why. I can't get it to work. And then when I call numbers, it speaks in like Italian and shit. And I don't even know what it's saying. So I'm like, all right. There, there's that then. Buy a key lock, and then, yeah, right, thank you, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a motherfucking ass key lock. Thank you, dude. Motherfucking ass. Alrighty, next person will say 20 minutes? Nah, dude. Come on, G. What you mean? You haven't even watched three minutes? Bro, I'm a lazy fuck. Not really, but... I just want to make sure we're going to the right place, you know? That's all. Alrighty. Yo, Vex, what's up, bro? I was just kidding. Kim and the rat would be bad. Thank you, SEC. I mean, I, I mean, don't. No one's a rat, but Kim and and Paul is number one, of course. Thank you. And you know what? You can even join in too if you want. We can have like a little thing going on, like a little, a little polyamorous relationship. Whatever you want, bro. But I got a rug store. Look at that. All right, where the fuck is this? Taxi. Taxi. Why would they have a taxi line over here? It's like not even touristy. Bro, what? Five minutes, he said. Taxis, they said. Italy is so outdated, though. I like the old architecture, but they gotta upgrade their, like, infrastructure, you know? It's, like, all over the fucking place. Like, these roads are just nonsense, dude. I walk wrong? What you mean? How? How do I walk wrong? Where the fuck are the taxis at? God damn it. I fucking hate this place. I can't even get around. I'm just trying to go to the Coliseum, bro. I mean, once I get out of the fucking neighborhood area, once I get back to the touristy, like... You can watch Wonky Winky Face. Well, but I'm stuck in the fucking, in the sticks in Italy, dude. So I can't get a fucking taxi, dog. Because they don't come over here. I'm literally in the sticks. I knew this was going to happen. I knew when the dude dropped me off that battle phone, I'm like, all right, I'm going to have a hard time getting back. And God fucking damn it, you're, I was right. I can't even get, I don't even, I, I'm fucking stuck over here in the, out in the sticks. Oh my God, look. Taxis. Oh God, finally. Jesus, Jesus Christ. All right, holy fucking ball sack. Now, if they tell me that I can't get a ride, I'm gonna be pissed. Cause these ones look out of service. How much? Are you working? Yeah? Oh, thank God. Oh my God, thank fucking Christ. Now I'm gonna go see Christ at the Coliseum. I live there. Coliseum, Prego. How are you today? Do you speak English? A little bad, sir. Oh, nice. What brings you to Italy? Uh, no story. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, we got we got six minutes. Let's go. Six. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I'm listening. I, you know, we got time. Sorry? Yeah, it's okay. Tell me. Okay, okay. You can tell me. Tell me. Tell me. What? Why are you in Italy? My mom is Oh, very nice. I think he thought I was like pressing the him or something, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I was just asking a question. I have no idea. Long story. Alright, yo, fucking... How long do you think it's going to take for us to see the Coliseum before we can go over to the Vatican? And when the fuck does Vatican close? I mean, it's a whole country, so it shouldn't close, right? Like, you can't close a country unless there's martial law. I mean, I, maybe we can't go inside the Vatican. If it's closed, I would like to go inside the Vatican. The haircut really brings out your nose? No, nah, homie. Go to the Vatican first? Actually, how far is the Vatican? Oh, yeah? The Vatican City. 
the opposite side, sir. How, how long? Long the hair, five kilometers. Can we go to the Vatican? Thank you. You're welcome. Check if he has a taxi line. What do you mean? Why, why would you have a... So museum, sir, or what can? Me? The Pope. Oh, okay. Yeah, just I want to go see the Pope. How how long? Like you think? Ten minutes? Depending on traffic. So if no traffic, yeah, ten minutes. Okay. If it's traffic, so. Hopefully there's connection. There's no connect. Hopefully there's connection in the Vatican, bro. We've got to see this fucking thing. You can watch Winky Wonky Winky Face. Yeah, you're gonna have to donate more than two dollars if you if you don't have me watch STC. I'm a. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you right now. You're gonna have to donate way more than two dollars if I'm just gonna watch. Otherwise, I'm involved as well. Coliseum has no internet. Well, it's, okay, so apparently the Coliseum has no internet, and apparently the Vatican has no internet. What you mean, dog? There's the only two things to do to, to see in Rome. Well, I mean, there's more shit to do, but those are the things you want to see when you come to Rome. We're gonna go try, all right? We're gonna check it out, we're gonna try. I mean, we were at the Coliseum last night and there was internet, so, I don't know. Did Tracksuit Andy like lag out in the Coliseum or something? What time, is the, what time does the Coliseum close? Close? Yeah, the Coliseum. Uh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, yeah, we got time, we got three hours, chat. So it's all good. Vatican's already closed, what you mean? It's only five o'clock, what are you talking about it's already closed? Bro, I just want to see the outside. I'm just going to see the outside. I mean, I'd like to see the inside, but if there's like a fucking four hour line, then, you know, maybe another time. Vatican last entry is 4 p.m. Bro, you got me fucked up. Bro, really? Well, it's too late to change it now, so we're already on the way. Eh, whatever. As long as I can see the outside of it, it's okay. I mean, I guess. I look younger with my haircut. Thank you, dude. Alrighty. How do you waste another day? Bro, I didn't. What do you mean? I got a haircut. How's that a waste of a day? Bro, it's fine. If we can stay in Rome for another day, then I can go inside the Vatican. I mean, I would like to to see the inside of it. You don't start streaming until way late? Okay, well, I was going to start the stream at 12, but I had to get the Wi-Fi box from Gary, so I ended up going live at 2. So, I mean, and then I got fucking kidnapped by my taxi earlier today for like 30 minutes. So, you know, that kind of put a damper on when I was going to go live, unfortunately. I mean, 2 o'clock is still pretty early, I, I would say. I mean, how the shit closes at 4 p.m. is out of my mind. I guess when people tour countries, they wake up at like 9 o'clock in the morning. I thought this, I thought shit was open until like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I guess not. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I guess because when you go to like Vatican and when you tour countries, I feel like it's for old people. Like a lot of old people are the ones who tour the countries. So they're like waking up at like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning and they, they go fucking like, you know, do their shit. Do your parents ever watch your live streams? Yeah, they, they do. They watch probably, I think they said they watch almost all the live streams. So we'll see. I mean, they, they love they love watching, dude. They always text me and they're just like telling me, like, uh, like oh, you're in Italy now. Oh, you're in France. That's so cool, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's pretty nice. Well, taxis are pretty cheap, too. It's only like, I mean, I swear to God, it's like probably $5 a mile. You know, and the Uber here is like $10 a mile, so it's like half the price. They just look at the title? I mean, my parents might just look at the title, but that's fine. Whether they watch or look, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Rome's a big city, dude. I'm thinking back in like the fucking Jesus era. Dude, people to walk from Vatican City to the Colosseum must have taken forever, dude. Like how the fuck are people walking 
five miles from Vatican to the Colosseum. I have no idea. Because I think it's like five kilometers. What is that? Five. No, that's not five miles. Like three miles or something. People had to walk three miles, dude, to go pray at church and then go fucking f watch people die at the Colosseum. That's crazy. Horses? Oh, I guess they had horses back then. But not everyone. Only the rich people had horses. All the, all the peasants had to walk. So, you know, it's like a mountain. Wow. You know, if you poor and wow, you're not going to get a mount. So the sa same thing applies to real life. I mean, I think, right? Three miles isn't much, bro. It, it's a, it, that takes a long time. It's probably like, what, two hours to walk three miles? That's a long ass time, bro. Like, I mean, I guess three miles isn't long, but it probably takes like two hours to walk. Three miles is one hour max. What do you mean, dude? How the fuck you walk three miles in one hour, dude? You're crazy. Look at this. Fucking fortress, dude. Dude, it's just crazy knowing that I'm looking at the same thing Jesus looked at. Fucking Jesus. Would you let a viewer date your mom if your dad died? No, what you mean? Bro, I would never let a viewer date my mom. Imagine my mom marries a viewer, bro. I, it, no, I, I could never see her again. That would be awful and aw it would be so awkward, dude. Like imagine, like no way. Cause like a viewer would just like make memes and stuff. Like imagine somebody who marries my mom starts making memes about fucking my mom. You know what I mean? Or like marrying my mom, like fuck no. That's like, that's not happening. I, like, no way. Bro, I don't even like when Kimberly says a fucking meme, like a Reddit meme or something. I don't even like that. So let alone if my fucking dad did that. Pfft, yeah, right. Like, if you're in my personal life in like a loving way, you're not allowed to tell, like, talk to me about memes, bro. I'm sorry. Like, we gonna be, we gonna talk like real people. Don't talk about, don't talk about memes. What's this guy doing? Como esta? Oh, he's pressing. He's taxi driver fight. Taxi driver fight. What is he saying, chat? No, no, grazie Dio, grazie. What did that guy say to you? Yeah. He's, is he talking shit? Yeah. Yeah? He's talking shit? No, Bro. He's very nice. He's very nice, man? Yeah, yeah. Why? Would you, did you cut him? Oh, it's your friend. You didn't like cut him off or something? Oh, okay. Bro, what is that? Look at that. How are you? Long time not see me. Why did he say that, though? Did he know you personally? Oh, interesting. Come on. If a fan married her, you could do the arm thing at the wedding. No. Dude, that would be awful, dude. That would be a meme, dude. Like, if I married Kimberly, for example, and, like, motherfucking ass, the whole wedding was a meme, like, come on, bro. Like, that's a... De my life would be depressing, dude. Like, I would be down to stream the wedding, but this shit had to be... It has to be completely serious. No memes. Because I don't want to look back at my wedding in 40 fucking years, and, you know, there's, like, fucking media requests and like fucking goblins and shit on my wedding dude okay it's got to be serious although if i did a hundred dollar tts then maybe we could pay for the honeymoon play ram ramps at the wedding dude imagine i could not bro i would die like that no my life would be so depressing like, I would have the most romantic, serious wedding stream in the fucking world. You know, if PewDiePie posted a video of his wedding, it'd be something like that. But more romantic. I consider myself to be a pretty romantic guy. I know I don't really show it on stream and you guys don't really see it with, you know, me and Kimberly. But trust me, I'm actually pretty romantic. Like, I'll take her out to get pizza and, like, go to the movies and, like, I'll order her a fucking cocktail without telling her. So all of a sudden a cocktail comes at the movies and I'm just like, and then she's like, that's my favorite cocktail flavor. She likes strawberry cocktails. 
and she's like all of a sudden a strawberry cocktail without telling her boom romantic as fuck because I know what she wants and then it's like a surprise you know things like that or I like take her to the mall when I tell her that we're going to the fucking McDonald's and then it's like oh look we're going to a fancy restaurant instead what's up and I made and she's dressed in like a fucking like I have a dress or something in the trunk for her and she like dresses into it like shit like that you know like super romantic like a lot of big surprises you know things you know all that kind of shit oh dude my nose is like clogged my whole like my sinuses are like fucked today I don't know if you guys could tell but like my nose is like hella clogged I just swallowed my phlegm. Like, I think I'm husband status for most girls. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think I got my shit figured out. I may not be the most, like, understanding person. And I may not be the most, like, I don't know, uh, like, compassionate person. But I'm very If you get married, do a private off-stream wedding and then do a fake stream wedding also. Nah, that's, nah. I would just do what PewDiePie did. I would stream the wedding, like my real wedding, but I would just make sure it's controlled and romantic and serious. Maybe put a delay on the stream, you know, maybe like a three hour delay or something to make sure everything runs smoothly. Cause I don't want no pizza or no fucking bullshit. No pizza deliveries or Chinese deliveries or fucking bullshit at my wedding, dude. You know, so, uh, you know, I, 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 this is fuck. Get married in RuneScape like a loser? Bro, I've been married in RuneScape hella times. And if you think that's being a loser, then you have... I'm sorry, but you don't... You, you don't you, you've never lived life, dog. What's the point in three hours? This is why I'm romantic. I would put a three-hour delay on my wedding stream. So me and Kimberly can watch the stream back while it's live three hours later. And then we can relive the moment. It's almost like getting married twice. Okay. If that's not romantic, I don't know what is. I've thought this shit through. Alright, I think we're almost there. I mean, I think, I don't know, five kilometers ain't that far. Well, it's live three hours later, then it's not live. I mean, true, but you know what I mean, right? TTS speaker attached to the priest. I mean, I could do like a fake wedding, right? It's like, uh, you got a real one, then you do a fake one where it's like just a meme. Like a, a real wedding, then a meme wedding. I guess that would actually be kind of funny, dude. And no, I, no, I'm not, I'm not proposing. I do me a favor, go to the confession booth. I want to see those in St. Peter's Basilica get rid of all those bads since Pope Francis is waiting. Do they have confession booths in the fucking, in the Vatican, dude? Bro, if I went to a confession booth, I would be down for that, but there's no way they would let me stream. Like, I would have to, like, pretend I'm not streaming. But then I, like, break moral... I break, like, the Bible's moral compass. And I lie to a priest. And, you know, I would go straight to hell. Not that it matters, but... As intellectuals one-on-one, -on -one, how do you think nutrition affects the body and mind? <laughs> the drivers wanted. <laughs> um, I think... I mean, nutrition obviously affects the body because it's like how you're health, how you stay healthy and shit. And then I think nutrition affects the brain as well because if you have low nutrition or dehydration, I don't think your brain works as well. I don't think you can think as fast. I don't think you're as sharp. I don't think you're as witty. I don't think you really like your your blood flow doesn't go to your brain as well when you have like a vitamin deficiency. I mean, I think because I feel myself like that sometimes. Like when I'm eating healthy, I'm like a lot more sharper and a lot more like smart. But when I'm eating McDonald's every day, I'm a little bit like off sometimes. Like a little, like my brain's a little dull, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but. What's up, Victor? Do not stream your confessional. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a good idea. I think I'll go straight to hell, dude. Like I said, I don't really believe in hell though, but if we're in the Vatican, I should be. At least a little respectful. Is this the Vatican? Yes, sir. Yo, oh, go on, here we go, dude. Is, the is that the castle of God? Oh, yes. Jesus. What is that? Is that where is that where they is that where Jesus was? Yeah. 
What you mean? Yo, chat, what is inside of this castle? What is that? Uh, yeah, where the Pope at? For real though. Dude, we're entering a new oh, country. Okay, very nice way, this bridge is entering a new country into the Vatican. They have a moat of water around the entire country. Holy shit. Dude, this place is secure as fuck. I hope they have good internet in this in this place. Just imagine the Pope is here, dude. But where is the Pope? Only twelve dollars. This is literally where Jesus used to live. That's fucking crazy, dude. What? Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is Jesus' homeland, dude. Dude, this is a pretty big area. I thought the Vatican, I thought the country of Vatican City was only the church. But they have like stores and shit. They have a McDonald's in fucking Vatican City. What the hell? Dude, imagine. All right, how much? 12 euros? Uh, Bro. 15, 15. I would love, these are apartments. I would love to live in Vatican City, dude. Imagine, dude. Somebody asked you on like fucking World of Warcraft or like the internet, hey, where do you live? I, I live in the Vatican City, asshole. Yeah, I live in Vatican City. What's up? Where God is. I only got 50s. Is that okay? Am I going to Norway sometime? Eventually, yeah. Thank you. 20, 30. Okay. Good, good, good. Sorry? Okay. It's, it's a, a tw tw 12 euros, yeah? 15, okay. F 15, oh yeah, you trying to take a $10 tip? What you mean? $10 tip on a $12 taxi? Come on, dog. All right, thank you, though. You can, you can keep the five, though. I'll be, uh, you know, you motherfucking trying to take $10 on my $12 taxi. All right. Motherfucking ass trying to... Come on, dog. All right. Where's the Vatican at? Bro, they got military up in this bitch. All right. Is that, the, is that the Vatican chat right there? He gave me 10, 20, 30, 35. Yeah, okay, 15. Yeah, whatever. He can, wait, that motherfucker just took 15. Bro, that motherfucker's already gone. Bro, that motherfucker actually, I did my math wrong, homie. I literally did my math wrong. That motherfucker fucked me. Out of 15 motherfucking dollars. Nah, homie. Yo, bro, let me get the other five. Let me get five more. No, it's 35 you're gonna give you, huh? Yeah, bro, you charged me fit. Just 30? No, it's a, it's a $12 taxi. No, 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 it's 15. No. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. 15, yeah, $12, three. Okay, I tipped him $3. Never mind, I'm fucking retarded. Alright, let's go to the Vatican. I thought that dude was scam. Was t I thought he wanted. I thought he was scamming me out of $15, <laughs> but then I realized that the cab is 12 and then I, I gave him 15 So, $3 tip. Alright, I mean. Whatever, dude. He tried to get a $10 tip out of me originally. I should have not tipped that dude at all, but you know what? It is what it is. He was refusing to give me the rest of my money. I wish I had not, I wish I had less denominations than 50 euros. Dude, look at this. Getting scammed in Vatican City, baby. All right, yo, for real though. Is that, that must be the Vatican, right? Like that has, no, he said to the left. Excuse me, is that the Vatican? No, uh, this is the the, uh, the Vatican Museum. Or what do you? Where is the Vatican? This way. The Vatican Museum is that. Uh, no, where is the Pope? The Pope is here. Oh, thank you. I must go find the Pope. Bro, I would love to live here. This is sick. This place is nice. Fuck. All right, yo. Fuck the Coliseum, dog. Go to that motherfucker later. I was already there yesterday. I, mean, I kind of want to go inside, but you know, it's just like a football stadium. It's fine. It's the Vatican City, dog. What's up? Alright. Yo, I mean. Jesus was never in Vatican? Really? I don't know. Well, you know what? Vatican is older than Jesus. This is the oldest place on earth. Vatican, well, for modern humanity. Vatican fucking city, Brett, baby. Like, these buildings are fucking 3,000 years old, dude. Or, like, at least 2,000 years old. Something like that. Bro. Refrigerator magnet. Let's go. I'm adding the fridge magnet to my collection. Every country I go to, I get a refrigerator magnet so I can know what countries I went to and collect them. Refrigerator magnet. All right, hold on. Do we have one that says Vatican City? Why did, Rome? No, I don't want a Rome. I already got an Italian one. I want one that says Vatican City. Because this is its own country. This is its own country. All righty. 
I guess it would be like just something with a pope on it, yeah? Because they all they all say Rome, dude. Why the fuck would I want a Rome one when I'm in Vatican City? I'm not in Vatican City yet. Where the fuck am I? Where's the border to Vatican City then? No, I am pretty sure I'm in Vatican City, dude. That bridge must have been the border because there's a fucking moat around the entire, like, fucking city, dude. <laughs> Like, this is, like, its own mini-city with, like, a wall around it, which is fucking sick, to be honest. No, I'm not. Where is it, dude? Let me ask somebody where the Vatican City is, dog. I, th I think... No. Do you pay to get in? No. Let me ask somebody who, like, lives here or something, dude. There's only 800 people who live in Vatican City, dude. So that's pretty crazy. Who, no, everyone here is a tourist. No, nobody lives here, dude. I remember when I saw the statue of David. I guess I'm just going to walk over to the big-ass building because obviously that's where the Pope is. That's what the guy said, yeah? So that obviously that is Vatican City. So I'm going to look for refrigerator magnets over where this tall-ass building is. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Am I in the Vatican City? Oh, okay. Over there. Where's the border, dude? Where's the border to the smallest country in the world? Alrighty. So, tracksuit and all those guys were already here? Let's see. Hello! Dude, this is a long ass walk. This is fucking far as fuck. Alright. This has to be it. I looked on the map and they said this, like, plaza is, like, the country of Vatican. Or maybe it's that gate right there. Oh, fuck. I almost fell. It must be that gate then. Right there. They must have refrigerator magnets past this gate. It says Vatican. But I'm pretty sure this plaza is Vatican. Because, or maybe it's that plaza. Okay, that gate is obviously the border. To the smallest country in the world. Let's do it. Alright, bro, that line though? Hold the fucking phone. Look at that fucking line. You got me so fucked up, dog. You got me all the way fucked up. I am not waiting in that fucking five hour line, dude. Okay. Bro, don't tell me they, they aren't going to let me entry into this fucking place. Because it's fucking 5 o'clock. Bro, look at that. Bro, look at this line, dude. Look at this. Bro, you got me all the way fucked up. You got me so fucked up, dude. Can't you just climb over this? Is this the border? Bro, how do we get in here? This is obviously the border now. Okay. Show passport, okay. Where's the ent where's the fucking entry, dude? How do we get in here? Jump over it? Hell no, dude. They got cops everywhere. I'm gonna get arrested for fucking border hopping, dude. <laughs> Imagine this is the border, dude. Hey, buddy. Refrigerator magnet? Do you have a refrigerator magnet? Magnet. For magnet for refrigerator. Okay. Oh, the entry! Oh my god. And we are officially... We are officially in the Vatican City. Nobody gives a fuck, dude. What the hell? Alright, let's go. We are officially in another country. Let's go, baby. Just like from Mexico to U United States. Uh-huh. Alright, yo, this line is insane as fuck, and we're not going anywhere near that. That is literally a... You guys want me to wait? How, how long do you think that line is? Should I wait five hours in that line? Bruh. Come on. I mean, dude, they said this is... this. I don't even know. Is this the church? I don't know what any of this shit is, to be honest. Bro, this shit looks amazing. This shit's thousands of years old. 2,000, bro? Look at this fucking shit. Bruh. Look at all that. Statues for days. All right, yo, is that the fucking church? Is that St. Peter's or... Excuse me. Is that St. Peter's? Well, she can't do it. Are you guys French? Bonjour? No, 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 no. English, English, English. English. Mm -hmm. Is this the St. Peter's? Yeah, the Vatican. The Vatican. This is the church. Yeah, the Vatican. Yeah. 
Is and this the also thing, where the Pope lives? Right. And the whole thing belongs to the Vatican. This whole story. Like, pa past that fence right there. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting. Where are the refrigerator magnets? <laughs> the gift shop is right there. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, homie, let's go. Bro, this place is beautiful. Bro, I wish I had some weed, dog. I smoke mad blunts over here. This place is awesome. All right, let's see how long this line is, though. I mean, they let me in, so some of the some people in chat were already wrong. They said no entry in the Vatican past four, but you know, I got in, so that's a good <laughs> that's a good sign. Alrighty, I need a photo in front of this motherfucking thing. Wait, it's less than twenty minutes, bro. I hope so. Good photo. They hate me. Alrighty. Bro, why they got chairs? Oh, the Pope like does like fucking, I don't know. They do like, uh, like, I don't know, the Pope like talks or something right there. What does that say? In honor of something in Roman something. They said this is the biggest church in the world. But to be honest, it doesn't look that big. They must go far back. Like it must go back really far. Like, right? Because I've seen churches that are much taller, dude. Like, the one in Barcelona was much taller. But this one must go... This one's obviously wider, but it probably goes back more, you know what I mean? Alright, I'm gonna cut the swearing since we're in Holy Land. He'll be thinking about the photobomb all day, dude. Alrighty. So you guys said that tracksuit went inside the Vatican? Like, inside of this building? There probably is no internet inside of there. That building is made out of complete concrete. <laughs> There's no way internet signal gets through that concrete, bro. But I gotta, I gotta lag for a second and check it out. Not if, I mean, unless the line's like three hours to do, then fuck that. The content bell. Dun. Dun. Who rings it, dude? What do you say about Jesus? All right, I'm pretty sure I've been here in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. All right. Hello. Hello, how are you? I might, I'm totally going the wrong way. Where, where's the other direction? Oh, it's over there. Oh, I'm stupid. They walk up this way, and this is the exit. Oh, God dang it. God. Oh, God, I tripped. All right, God dang it, dude. Cause I have to go over there now. Oh, jeez, all right. Huh. Maybe I can just... Hmm, I don't know. Dang it, dude. Alright, let's see if we can walk around this way. I guess. Go in the exit. What do you mean, dude? They have, like, hella security. What are you talking about? You can't just do that. They probably... This place is probably just as secure as the White House. I mean, the Pope lives here, dude. The Pope is literally inside of this building. I mean, I, th I guess. I don't know. Like, probably on the fucking eighth floor, dude. What is that? Are these like the royal guards or something? Or like a jester? What is that? Are they, they literally look like a jester. But I think they're like, yeah, they're obviously royal guards. He has a spear, dude. That's not going to stop any. What the fuck? What, is, what the heck's a spear going to do? What are, I don't know what they represent, though. Swiss guards? Is that what they are? All right, we got to get to the other side. Dang. All right. I wish I had somebody to take a photo of me. This is amazing, dude. This building is sick. Dude, it's 3,000 years old. All right. Look at that statue, dude. Holy crap. Run past them? Yeah, right. They're going to they're gonna hit me with that spear, bro. They're going to stab my, my butt. I'm trying not to curse. Bro, imagine living in those apartments right there. That'd be amazing. Imagine living outside of the Vatican and you look out your window and you see the Vatican and like the Pope and stuff. That'd be crazy. That'd be so nuts. All right. Let's see if we can get to the other side and go inside of this giant church. Oh, I mean, I don't think we will be able to without waiting. A few and there's even, to be honest, it doesn't even look like there's a huge line. To be fair, this is the biggest church in the world. There should be no line. It should be able to fit thousands of people inside of it. It's like Noah's Ark or something, dude. Alright. But I don't know. I don't know if you have to buy a ticket or something. We'll see. 
Why should you have to buy a ticket to go inside of a church? I feel like that's against religion, dude. Making money off religion. You look so young. I know, dude. Bro, the, the haircut and the shave really helped me out, didn't it? I look mad young right now. Which is nice. I mean, because I've had the beard for like two months. So now without the beard, I look so much better. It's like 400 years old. Dude, that thing is... This is not 400 years old. That was literally built before Jesus Christ. I think. What are you talking about, dude? Literally, the Vatican, like, the Romans killed Jesus. So Rome is older than Jesus. I mean, I If God is real, he would have smite you down by now. No, why would he smite me down? I haven't done anything wrong. I'm being respectful. I love God. I'm so respectful of God. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. God can really make the chairs a little bit more comfortable. What is that? Come on, they're kind of rotten, dude. Alright. Let's go over to the entry mark. And let's see if we can enter the Vatican. Excuse me. Where do I buy tickets to the Vatican? Tickets? To the Vatican. How do I get inside the Vatican? Over there? All right. When does when does the Vatican close? Okay, thank you. Hello. The Vatican City. I wonder if this order holy weed and some sweet Jesus THC juice. Eh, no. Later, dude. Wait, when did the Vatican City become its own country? Has it always been its own country? Or is this like a recent thing? Oh God. Oh Jesus. Jesus, oh God, I almost tripped. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna wait in this line. I don't see I don't know, I don't see anyone who works here, dude. Maybe I'll ask these guys. Excuse me. Do I have to buy a ticket to go inside? No, no, it's free. Only control. To go in there? Yes. Oh, when is it closed? Uh, right. Control uh, six hours past. Six? Yes. Okay, thank you. What? All right, sorry, I put the cam down. Those are Vatican City Security Police. Don't record. I don't record. <laughs> I don't record police in other countries anymore. After Spain, I don't do that. To be fair, it was an accident in Spain. I had the camera at their feet, but they were pressing me. I'm not. They don't play games. I, I ain't. Yeah. What's this? All right. It's free though. We can just walk in. There's, there's not even a huge line, bro. I'm so excited, dude. It's probably gonna f the moment we walk in, but I'll get some photos and I'll get to see it. So it's fine. Like, as long as I get some photos, like I'm happy. So if I f inside of this building, I'll be back in like 10 minutes. But I don't. I don't. I just hope I don't f. Let's just let's just pray to God. I don't. <laughs> ten minutes, by the way. Let's just hope I don't f, dude. It's five. Th oh yeah, we have ten minutes, bro. It closes in ten minutes. That's fine. We're already like in line, so I think they'll let us in. I mean, I hope at least. I hope I don't wait in line. Then they're just like, when I get to the door, it's like, nope, never mind. Dude, this place is so chill. I literally smoke a blunt here every day. All right, here we go. How come you never IRL in Austin? Uh, there's nothing to do in Austin. I just remember to have that that razor in my back pocket, dude, for the the uh, from the haircut. So I'm gonna have to throw that out, obviously, before I go in. Where's my Where's my jewel at? Oh, here it is. Oh, thank God. Do you jewel here? Is that like? I don't know. I don't see anyone smoking cigarettes. So maybe not. Never mind. I'm not gonna hit the jewel. Throw the razor uh, in the garbage. God dang it, dude. Alrighty. Is tracksuit already inside of there? I don't know. I wonder. I don't know if you can. I really want to hit my jewel. I want some good old nicotine before I see the, the palace of God. That jewel's gonna kill you, idiot? Eh. Everything in this world kills you, so it's fine. Please don't film those, have courtesy. Don't film what? What you mean? This is, you film everything here. That's the point of this, right? 
I'm pretty sure Jesus used to smoke cigarettes. I'm not gonna lie. I know for a fact Jesus smoked tobacco. Everyone back in the day smoked tobacco, got like wasted every single day on like beer and wine and shit. So, like I'm pretty sure. Yo, is TSA lagging inside of there or is the internet okay? Oh, maybe, wait, did tobacco not exist? Was tobacco only found from the Native Americans of America? Did Europe actually not have tobacco? Because, no, they must have. Because surely they can grow to... No? Did they have marijuana? No? Opium? Oh, they were on opioid, opioids, like heroin and shit. Okay. Or I mean, not, I mean, not curse. God. I keep forgetting about cursing. I'm just too American. So they were on heroin, but they didn't smoke cigarettes. Gotcha. Jesus was on heroin. That's crazy. All right, hold on. Let me come back through the thing here. Solo ice is the best. Went through the x-ray, sorry. Alright, here we go. Already. Okay, let's see. Yeah, solo ice is the best. Thank you. You'll start. Appreciate it, bro. What's your favorite flavored blunt wrap? Blueberry. I like me some blueberry. Alrighty. So we're in. Thank God. So if they close now, they yeah, we have to get in. Oh, silence. Yeah, so you can be by yourself for once and maybe just oh, I sorry. I apologize. I forget I'm too loud. I need to be quiet. I'm just, I'm, I'm, it's okay. I'm making a video. Yeah, I'm trying to, I don't know. All right, more guards. Yeah, I mean, I gotta be respectful, dude. I forget, man, I forget. I'm not inside yet. I was obviously not gonna talk loud inside of the church, but let's, let's start now. Homie, we didn't even have in security, we good. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. As long as Tracks do streaming in there, then I think I'll be good. This three SIM card is doing pretty good. All right, let me just stay quiet. Like, respect and everything. I need a photo, though. Dude, this church is huge. Actually, I changed my mind. This church is huge. It's not as tall as some other cathedrals that I've seen. But obviously, as I'm getting closer to this church, it is so big, dude. This thing is literally a city. Turn off TTS. What's worse? Or not worse. What's bigger? The Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas or the Vatican City Cathedral here? Because I don't know. Caesar's Palace is big, but this is like... I don't know. There's there's this... I don't know if it looks bigger because of the architecture, but it's huge. Yeah, I'll turn off TTS. When, uh, you know, we get inside. Very impressive. Okay, we need to find a refrigerator magnet. They have a gift shop, a souvenir gift shop inside of the church. Imagine, dude. All right, they have fridge magnets there for sure. I'm not, I'm literally whispering chat. It's fine. I'm literally whispering right now. People around me are talking louder than I am. Dun, 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 dun. Dude, look at this, amazing. All right. Vatican City, baby, let's go. The Pope is leeching. <laughs> Dude, imagine. No. All right. Don't have, don't have. Here we go. We are officially inside of the Vatican. All right, where's the, where's the chapel? And like, where's like the main area? Over there? Or over here? Dude, they must have a cell tower inside of here. Alright, excuse me. Me excuse me. Alright. Let me ask these guys. Excuse me. Where, where, where is the main 
place in the Vatican? Where is the where ma- where is the chapel? Oh, CC Chapel is closed now. It's closed. It's closed oh. at uh, four o'clock. What do people see inside of here? On the right, on the left. And does the Pope live here? No. Uh, no. Oh. Does he live upstairs? And, and no one goes there. Okay, thank you. Oh God, what the? F- you scared me, dude. Hi. What's up? How you doing? Good. What is that? Um, I couldn't get in with what I was wearing. Why? Because it's like showing my shoulders. Wait, you? They didn't let you in here? Well, a girl stopped me before I came in, and she like gave me her like jacket to cover up my knees, and then this to cover up my shoulders. What do you mean? You look like a homeless person right now. You look worse with the bag. You look, you literally look homeless right now. You can see finish. through it, dude. What no, you, they can't. What do you mean? They let me in. I don't believe it. You, you're, you're take that. The t- guards were laughing at me. Take that off. No, I can't. Literally, dude, you're fine, dude. Dude, back in the day, they look at this. The, the statue literally shows their shoulders. You're fine. The statue has more cleavage than you do. Come on. I'm paper bag Andy. Trash All right. Bag Andy. No, you're good. All right. What did you guys see so far? Yeah. What have you guys seen so far? Everything. Me and Tracy just walked out. Did Here's you? Did you uh, go to the Coliseum? No. Have you guys been here all day? Yeah, here. What do you mean? There was no line. What has taken you so long? No, there was a line earlier. I just walked like, in. The stairs all the way up and I, down. I literally just walked in. There's a line earlier outside. Yeah, you, got, you guys messed up. Hey, you gotta show me to the top. Your haircut looks good. Thank you. You gotta show me to the top so I can see the view. I know my haircut looking hell. No, dude. There's no way. It just closed? I was literally a uh, walk. I was just literally walking right to it and then he's closed. Are you kidding? Is that closed? Bro, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Okay. Bro, how how do we get Here, let's just I'll figure it out. Here, let's go. Is this also closed? What is I don't even know where to go. This way? They have elevators in here? I told you to go to the gift shop, bro. Come on, though. I mean, they got another one, but this can't... Bro, come on, dude. Is this the only souvenir shop in the whole country? They have another one, but it's outside the country, so I don't know if it says Vatican City. Oh, thank God. We have to go up all the stairs. Is there, like, a basement, too? Uh, yeah, we, we just came out of the, the crypt. A crypt with, like, coffins? Yeah. And dead people? Yeah. There's probably no internet, though, huh? Um, I don't think so. Dude, look at this. Amazing. Amazing, dude. Alright. Where's, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know anything about this Vatican, so... Why are we we're going the wrong way? I don't know anything about the Vatican, so... How do we get over there? I don't know what we're supposed to be looking at. Like, what's, like, the popular... Like, the main thing inside of your chat? How do we get in there? Other way? It's closed? Okay, thank you. What? Did you come too late? I don't know. Oh, that's probably why there's no line here. It's probably closed. No, dude. I just got here. Get a haircut and then come here. No. We're not leaving Rome today. I don't care what anyone says. Okay. Who said... Was Gary and Traxxas trying to leave? Yeah, me... You're all trying to leave? Y'all... I mean... Y'all really want to drive? It makes the most amount of sense to leave tonight. What? Y'all really want to drive 12 hours to Munich? It's not 12. They said it was 8. Yeah, but with the RV. Traxxas said he'll drive. With No, I'm driving. I want to stream myself driving with media. Traxxas has been doing it the whole time. It's my fucking turn. I want to make $5,000 real quick. F- fuck, fuck that. <laughs> dude, fucking... It's going to be 12 hours with the RV, dude. Y'all really want to drive to fucking Germany, dude? Yeah, because um, we have to do our camping street we're wasting time. If we don't drive tonight, we're not going to have time to do things and see places. Um, I guess. That's, I mean, I guess if that. If you think there's more stuff to see, then let's stay. I mean, there's obviously tons of stuff to see. Uh, yeah, if you think that that's what you want to do. I mean, if everyone else wants to go, I'm not going to hold y'all back. You know, group decision. Oh, hey, well, rewind. I'll just, I'll just. You said I don't care what anyone says. I'll just fly over to Rome by myself after the RV trips. It's fine. Yo, did you go inside? No, I I have to see the before they close. I have to see everything. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna fly back to Rome, dude, when, the, when we drop the RV off, if they all wanna leave. I'm not gonna hold everyone back, you know? Bro, they really just closed. No, okay, thank God. Wait, Kimberly, I want you to take a photo of me. Come in here, dude. Come on, bro. Why do you ditch me all the time? I'm gonna ask some random person to take a photo of me now. All right, what do we got? Selfie stick gang. It's so beautiful in here. It's huge. It's really hot in here, dude. They have no air conditioning. Holy moly, dude. Dude, I'm actually annoyed right now. I want some photos, but I can't take them on my phone because I'm streaming. She literally chose to not hang out with me inside here and, and hang out outside. Like, come on, dog. I need fucking photos, dude. Like, I can't have a random person take the, the photo. <laughs> Screenshot? No, it's not good quality, dude. Let's go. I'm going to the Coliseum. I don't. I, I'm not bringing Kimberly with me though. She's annoying me right now. some photos before we leave I want to see more of the Vatican but I don't it's like lagging like really bad in there is it is it lagging like really bad in there chat I mean I pretty much saw the whole thing for the most part rather sit there than come hang out and take like photos together or something come on dude Kimberly what can you take some photos come on I don't care let's go
All right. <laughs> Just, if, let's take a photo in front of this thing. Let's get a little bit closer. No, Chad, I muted it to fucking, you know, have a two second chat about why she's waiting outside. Just so I understand what's going on. I didn't bitch. Obviously. <laughs> what? Say what? I just said it. Like, can you come inside and take a photo with us? I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put you guys on the floor for a sec, all right? Not a good look leaving a bag of wires to out and that guy fucking yelled at me. He's like, take your fucking bag up. I was like, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I had some lasagna. Yeah, I picked up some lasagna from some random, like, Italian place. Finding it, dude, I couldn't find a taxi for like an hour. Really? I was, it was annoying. It was, I was like lost in the city somewhere. I got you a SIM card. Do you have one already? Yeah, I mean, I'll take that one too. Thank you. You said you got pizza? From where? Alright, I'm gonna find a refrigerator magnet and then go to the Coliseum. Before it closes. Okay, should I try to find the boys again? Um, yeah, just uh, keep, let's take a photo outside of the Vatican too. Okay. And then we can go find them. I'm just gonna continue to the Coliseum by myself, so if that's okay with you guys. Chat. <laughs> right, I didn't say anything. Oh no. I mean, unless you guys are were planning to go to the Coliseum anyways. Um, I don't really know. If you guys are planning to go there anyways, then we can all just go together. Where do you want the picture? Uh, let's just take it like over there in front of that thing. Like looking back at the whole Vatican. All right, let me see. Let me... If I'm over there, I can take the trash bag off. I'll put on... My flat buildings. All right, let me see. What, wait, what? Jesus is gay. Jesus is gay. Jesus is gay. Jesus is gay. Don't say that. What the hell's wrong with you? Come to Milano. It's better. I was in Milan two years ago. I did not like it. Oh no. My name is Jonas, and I did not kill Jesus Christ. Wait, how do you get there? We had to walk up all the way is, up the stairs. Is it closed? Uh, I think you might be okay. It was a huge pain in the ass. Wait, how do you get up there? Tell me why are you so loud all the time? Serious question? Lol. Loud. You do realize we got headphones, we can hear you fine, you don't have to yell all the time. Also be respectful of the church loud Andy. What? Go through here on the right, and then uh, there's a guy ticket guy. Oh, okay. There's a lot of stairs, you're gonna have. Do you F at the top? Yeah. All the way. Lol, well, it's easy to understand. Really? She doesn't he like the way how you put your phone in her face. Uh, okay, thank you, dude. It's pretty sick, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, Kim slowly leaving your side. 
Chat loves you though. Thank you, bro. Uh, yeah, if I'm gonna F the whole time, I'm just not gonna do it. I think you'll F all the way up, and then maybe when you get to the- Yeah, it was a little laggy, but go see what you want. What's that? You've been using the box, or you got a SIM card? I got a SIM card, the box is shit. Dude. Where'd you get the SIM card from? Three. Three? Yeah. I got Vodafone. Or... Ice listen, came to Milano, it's better for nightlife content. I'm a streamer, I live there. It's better than Rome. I can introduce you to the Italian Mafia. Okay, thank you, dude. Maybe if we go over, if I ever go back. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, chat. Uh, I mean, this guy's closing. Oh, damn. Ice, relax and just speak your feelings. Don't panic. Got a haircut. No, I'm not panicking. It's fine, dude. Um, yeah, I did. Nice. I did. Do you have hairs in your face? Kim feels a little left out. I honestly feel for Kim sometimes. She supports you so much. You need to show her that you notice. I do show her that I notice. I tell her. Kim makes even a plastic bag look good. Kim plus Paul. Thank you, bro. Kim, it makes a plastic bag look good. Thank you. No, I, I, I do show that. I do appreciate her support. Yeah, I, when I muted it, I just was like, what? Like, why are you outside? Like, that's all. You guys are always thinking so negative sometimes. <laughs> okay. Uh, were you guys planning on going to the Coliseum? Nah. I mean, I mean, if you guys, I mean, I'm going right now. So, if you guys want to go, you can come or. You know, him? Or, yeah, or we can split whatever you guys want to do. I've seen it already. Like inside of it? Yeah, yeah. When? I went with my mom and sister. Oh, like years ago? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I, that's I'm, the only thing I remember. I'm down to come, but I still want to stream, you know? So I don't know if you want to keep doing your solo thing. I mean, how about this? We can go to the Coliseum together and then we Why leaving Rome already? Streaming. Your solo stream is amazing and you just started and promised us a 24 hour stream. You drive next TTS, Media Drive Stream. Tired seeing GSA and Gary Drive. Thank you, dude. Um, so wait, what's, what's going on? Do you guys, do you guys want to leave Rome tonight, or? I think it's better for the trip. You think so, too? I don't know. You don't think it is? I mean, I would prefer to stay one more day. I think we've only been in Rome for like less than a day. I mean, Rome's, there's so much to do in Rome, dude. Yeah. And I don't know. I think we could do another day here. I think so, too. But we have to drive at night. Tomorrow night? At night. Well, what? If we drive during the day, we keep ruining It'll be it. Tuesday tomorrow, so when do you plan, if you want to say another day, when do you plan on driving? So Tuesday, and it'll take us nine hours. Wednesday, we probably won't do all of that. Now. We'll probably do some more driving. Yeah, we got to hurry then. Um, well, why do you want to leave tonight versus tomorrow? I think it'll be better. Just, we'll have more time. Just to like camp and like do other stuff? Yeah, I think we'll have more time to explore more places. We ain't got, we've only got this week left. I think, but it's a group decision, so if you guys want to stay... But realistically, we're we going to drive to Munich tonight. I mean, not drive, but I would get as then much as we You can. know it's going to be like a 10, 11 hour drive. If we leave tonight, tomorrow is going to be fucked. But it's everything. better than leaving the next day, though. Yeah, but at least we can stream in Rome. Well, the thing is, yeah, if we if we leave tomorrow night, then we can at least get two days of Rome streamed and like some content versus, versus yeah, like the next two days of driving. Oh, I, okay. Up to you guys. Because um, then I think if we leave on Tuesday, what's today? It's Monday. I think if we leave Tuesday night, we can get to Munich. By Thursday. You think? Yeah. Like Wednesday. Nah, impossible. Like Wednesday. Impossible. If somebody drives like 10 fucking hours. I mean, if we want to do the camping, we might have to leave soon. But we, okay, but if we leave tonight, it's going to be... And then we're, okay, wherever we park on Wednesday, if we're not in Munich yet, we camp there. So it's going to be somewhere in Switzerland. Switzerland's the only thing in between Germany and Italy. So it's going to be somewhere in Switzerland. I think we'll be into Germany by then, no? No. Switzerland's pretty big, bro. No, but I we got eight hours of Italy driving, or I don't even know, maybe not. Rome to fucking Switzerland's like ten hours itself. So there's no way Rome to Munich is only ten hours. Rome to Munich is... Yeah, we should have this conversation, like... The guy with the cap look, he looks like Hampton Brandon. Haven't watched you in a while, Ice. Good to see you again. I think I'm gonna stay around here because by the time we get to the coast, it's gonna be closed. All right, well, well, if we stay tomorrow, then it's not a big deal. Yeah. Thank you, Ewa. Um, it's gonna take us multiple days to get to Munich, honestly, unless somebody drives literally 20 fucking hours. It's gonna take an entire day. It says 10 hours, which means 14. Yeah, basically. So one whole day. That's fine. And wherever we park on the way to Munich, we'll just camp there. Because we're, we're basically only going to be in Switzerland for like a tiny... We're not even going to drive through Switzerland. If we go from here to Munich, we don't even go through Switzerland. Really? Yeah. Where do we go through? Austria. 
Oh, perfect. We can like. Jim Paul yeah. said you annoyed him, and he didn't want to take you to the Coliseum with him. We just Jim go. Paul, we would go through. We would go through Austria and get to Munich, uh, and then yeah. from Munich to Cologne. She knows, bro. To Amsterdam. So it's just whether we leave tonight or if we leave tomorrow morning. What do you guys think? Tomorrow morning? I mean tomorrow night. tomorrow like night. late afternoon. Night. Tomorrow night? We could leave tomorrow at like 8 and have the whole day here. And then we could get to, try to get to Munich for like the next day afternoon sometime. And then we could camp in Munich. So Ice, going back to what you were saying earlier. Just how much are we talking? How about if it's you and me and Gary watches? Would that be cheaper? Listen, S. Please do solo eyes for two more hours. I miss that shit. You can do group the nightlife in group. All right, well, I'll, I'll, then so be it, Kay's. You, you have your way, Kay. STC says for $20, what you were saying earlier, just how much are we talking? How about if it's me, you, and Gary watches? What? About what? STC wants to have a threesome, and oh then God. he wants to pay money for Gary to watch. I told him, listen, <laughs> STC... STC, listen, if you donate $10,000 right now, you, you, me, and Kimberly can have... Can't me out. She has, she can make whatever decision she wants, but I would not mind for $10,000 if she accepts it. You can do whatever you want, bro. Slime me 10 grand, Gary can watch. Anyone could do whatever they want, bro. Now, obviously that's up to her, but I'm just telling you for 10 grand, I wouldn't mind. And then uh, Kay, you know, with the solo streams, I'm down for that. If we didn't drive tonight, what time would you want to leave? I'd say 12. 12? So we could get maybe like... you're trolling. I can, I can, he ain't trolling. I can, trolling. I can do like... Oh, you know he ain't trolling. 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 Were you sick of driving stream for a couple oh, days? You guys sleep, okay. and you guys we are sick of driving stream for a couple of days. I mean, I, I agree with you on that. Um, Either way, we're gonna miss a couple things. We're gonna miss both. Yeah, we're, more quicker. we're gonna miss them. Ice Poseidon, you need to fly Roke Malone in for the RV trip. He is getting pressed hard. He is doing it in your defense. Fly him in to help press the Pope. Broke Malone for RV trip. Don't say that to Vatican, homie. I, that's not happening. Ice, listen. No leech. I streamed in Rome and Rome is a big F. It will be normal to risk content and no nightlife content. Swiss is shit. Came to Milano and you will be with me. You can call me Mafia Dude, Andy. I literally was in Milano two years ago. TSA straight up wants to get on road for dono money. <laughs> it was, well, I said I would be driving. Um, it's literally shit, dude. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just did Milano wrong. So maybe one day I'll stop back Milano again and help you out. Up to you. Or we, we can stream together. All right, yo. So I guess what I'm going to do now, if we stay tonight, I'm going to go off and stream. Somebody donated 25 for the solo, so we'll do a solo for a little bit, and then if you guys want to meet up later, a couple hours, like two hours or something, right. three hours, I don't know, That's cool. we can go do some shit, get some dinner, have some nightlife shit, you know, yeah. figure it out. Oh yeah, and on, when the sun goes down, we can go to a haunted place. Yeah, we gotta go yeah. go the go Chapel haunted. of the Dead. Is that where it is? I don't know, somebody, you said Chapel of the Dead or something, right? I did. I don't know, that's what you said yesterday when you maybe. looked it up. If I looked it up and I said I've it, been yeah. asking so many people about it, and they're just, don't tell me anything. Where's the Chapel of the Dead? Oh fuck! <laughs> All right. Um. Well, I'm gonna go find a refrigerator magnet. So, I will see you guys soon. All right. All right. Goodbye. Got a good one. Oh wait, can you take a photo with us? Mm -hmm. Or I guess me and you can take a photo. Uh, I don't you know. You in the chat? Uh, yeah. Oh well, yeah. I'm sorry, the chat's replaced you. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, let's take a photo. In front of. Oh, it's this way. Can I take it off here? Yeah, just take. Dude, take that off. Come on. Well, I don't want to be disrespectful. You're in front of God. Not, come on, the statues are literally there's literally statues of dicks and shit, like dudes with covered. like with like their dicks out and stuff. That, that statue right there is literally showing it was shoulders. So, like, stinky. She gave it to me and it's like so wet. All right, chat. We're gonna take a photo in front of this real quick, and then I'm gonna continue on my own for a couple hours. All right, let's go. I just I didn't know we were gonna go here. I didn't think about it. I Hey, at least you weren't wearing that checkered uh, skirt. What's wrong with that? She was gonna wear a checkered skirt that's like. Oh, it's a little bit shorter than what you're wearing right now. It's always shorter. Hey. Hey, I was, I, that checkered short is like. I don't know. Kind of kind of sexy. And now I'm not gonna wear it anymore. No, it's sexy. But it's like, you know, it's funny because we're at church. Um, 
What was I gonna say? Uh, oh, are you guys having fun? Did you like, uh, did you guys just go live and was like, let's just go to Vatican City? Mm-hmm. We went straight here, we walked around, and then came on in. Oh, wait, look at that guy. Oh, yeah, I know, I saw him. Get a speaker. Do I have a speaker in my backpack. I just don't have it on because it's, I'm not gonna have a speaker on, like, more loud. It's, like, too loud, bro. Oh, yeah. It's too loud, like, we're in the, the church, dog. This guy probably literally talks to the Pope every day. Ice give me bank info and social security hash are on. Okay, but okay, dude. I'm not giving you my bank info and social security SEC, but thank you. Kim can come if she wants. I mean, okay. That's fine with me. Whichever. Thank you, Kay. I appreciate it. It's up to her, though. Although I might just do it alone. I might just go by myself anyways, just to like, you know, get some solo streams out there because I haven't done any since I've been on this trip, so, you know, let's just do it. She'll, she'll be fine with Gary and Tracksuit. I think that's when they do Mass. Every Sunday they do the Pope. Every Sunday the Pope comes out and like does like a prayer. Which, oh yeah, which is sick as fuck. I would love to do, I, would, I don't go to church, but I would love to sit there and listen to the Pope talk. That would be amazing. Alright, let's see. Vatican City Magnet. Don't, these magnets better not say Roma. They better say Vatican City. Alright, let's see. Refrigerator magnets. Oh, amazing. Alright, perfect. Alright, chat, what, what should we get here? I think I'm going to get the one that says Vatican on it. Vaticano. How much for the plastic bag Kim was wearing? You can have it for free, man. I'll send it to you. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Hey, do you live here? You just vacation? Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Vatican. Infiltrate the building and take out the targets. The fate of the nation is at stake. Good luck, 47. I will leave you to prepare. All right, chat. What do you think about this refrigerator magnet? I like it because it's the only one that says Vatican, like Vatican on it, Vaticano. All the other ones don't say Vatican, so it's just like, it doesn't make sense. Like, if somebody came into my fridge, they'd be like, "Why do you have a magnet of like God?" Whereas now they are like, "Okay, you've been to the Vatican City." All right, cool. Fucking good morning, Vatican. Okay, thank you, dude. Whatever that means, I'm not saying that. Okay, thank you, dude. Yo, Kimberly, STC wants the bag that you are wearing. What? He wants the bag you were wearing. Can we give it to him for free? Yeah, absolutely. All right, give me your address. I'll send it. I'll send you the bag, homie. Just don't do anything weird. Hello. What should I get? I want to get something for my grandpa. He's really delicious. <coughs> Refrigerator magnet. No. You, oh, what about this? I can't carry that around. Get a, I don't know. It's only ten dollars. Like a huge painting. Or like, oh, a plate. Look, you should get him like a plate or something, dude. What do you guys think grandpa's like? I think grand I think old men like plates. Like plates? Yeah, they eat like their fruit and stuff or like their diabetes pills like on this plate. I don't know, what do you guys think in the chat? Yeah, what is grandpa's like? Pope fridge magnet? Nah, I gotta I gotta have one that says Vatican, homie. Hell yeah, bro. Dope as hell. A thousand euros? What is that? For just a coin, dude? Dude, my dad has a coin that cost him like thousand dollars and it has the, like the Pope on it. And it's like, he has it engraved into a ring. It's pretty sick. Paul, when are you going to start selling bath water? <laughs> uh, I mean, I can sell bath water anytime you want. It's up to you, man. If you, as long as you buy it, I'll send you it immediately. Send me an invoice to your address, we're good. All right, like I said, there's a penis right there, so why would she have to wear a trash bag? All right, SEC, if you want Kim's bath water, we get that. Get a key lock if they got one there. Okay, let me see. Stream of homie man, who's homie man, who is that? Did you give any ideas for grandpa gifts? Home Yatol, Who who's home Yatol? Is that, a, that's a, is that a bot or is that, a, is that real? I can't tell. What's going on, chat? What'd you say? Do they have any ideas for grandpa gifts? Uh, I 
Italian. TSA wants to leave so he can do a 12 hour dono drive stream. Have a night out without having to worry about driving for once. All right, I mean, I don't, we're, I don't think we're gonna stop at the Vatican though, chat. Or not that, I don't think we're gonna stop in Milano though, chat. I mean, uh, maybe we can stop in Milan because we have to drive through Milan anyway. So maybe we stop for a couple hours or like two hours. We stream with him and then continue. We we just don't have enough time, but maybe we can make time if if this guy's like uh, like a huge streamer that we can like stream with or something. But I just I don't know. I can't hold the rest of the group up. We'll see. Yo, Hamtol. DM me on Twitter, bro, so we can talk about something. Yeah. I asked for your bath water, but if I'll you're offering... Lock, they don't have locks. Yeah, let's get... There's just